mic check, mic checkity check. One, two, and three. trying to do something right now, you guys can't tell. I'm trying to crash FF8, believe it or not. I have grown suspicious that there is some weird combination of keyboard buttons that might be causing my, my game to crash. Like, if you guys were here yesterday, we had our uh, second or third crash. And I think it might have to do with my... My key binding to mute my mic. So I'm just kind of messing around with some buttons right now. But no matter what I do, I can't kill it. I guess I, uh, I guess I've done my due diligence. Welcome on in, everybody. Very happy Sunday. Good to see you, Yarn, Spooler, Nico, Matthews, Gun, Blade. Welcome on back in. Hey, Dizzle. Thanks for the 65 stream streak. Everyone's having a lovely Sunday. Let's rock and roll some FF8, huh? How you doing, guys? Hey, Fitty Cal. Welcome on in, everybody. Who's trickling on in tonight? Good to see you, Rube. K gone. Here's the plan today. Here's the plan today. We had a uh, we had a nice Saturday yesterday. Well, nice is relative. Had a uh, really nice two, actually, FF8 attempts that uh, were not meant to be. I think the first one crashed. The second one, I actually kind of forget how the uh, run ended up dying. But um, I actually was kind of 50-50 uh, kind of on what I wanted to stream today. Part of me wanted to do some Sea of Stars, do a full any percent glitchless run. And, uh, you know, have fun just kind of doing some kind of other content. As I've been feeling like I'm kind of getting a little bit, um, a little bit ready for something different. You know, I've been loving FF8. It's a heck of a lot of fun. The soundtrack is amazing, and it's a it's a really fun speed run to do. But I get to the point when I've done a run too many times, it just gets kind of repetitive. And uh, I was really thinking today it might be fun to do a Sea of Stars run, test out the new speed run relic. And uh, see if we can, you know, finish and see what the time save is. But I talked myself it into an, an eight run after all. So here is the dealio today. Let's give it a shot. Let's see if we can get an eight run started. I got all day. And if we can, more power to us. We'll take it. We'll run with it. We'll grip it. We'll rip it. And we'll see if we can PB. But if we have like a, you know, a Dillette that is really crappy and it just doesn't look like it's going to be our day today. I, I'm not going to try to force through an 8 run. And so if uh, it just isn't meant to be, um, we'll just transition to Sea of Stars and that will be awesome. So as long as that sounds like a plan for you guys, then I think we got a date. Three? Two, how is my overlay looking? Looks good. However, we have our Learn FF12 up. Shout out to you guys yesterday who uh, who have triggered learning to speedrun Final Fantasy VIII. 
More power to you guys. Thanks for supporting the goal. We hit uh, hit 100 subs yesterday to learn FF12 after we're done learning FF8 Hundo. So we have a lot of uh, fun plans coming your guys' way. Let's do an FF8 sub goal. Anything 75 is a little aggressive of a goal. There we go, a little better. Alrighty. Without further ado, let's rock and roll. Three, two, one, go. How's everybody doing today? Hey, Kiteman. Hey, Brent. Mr. E. Siggy Pie, how's your Sunday going? Grab my phone here real quick. I want to make sure I can bug our Comcast guy if shit hits the fan again. with the apartment today so unfortunately not the uh, the apartment I was gonna go check out bailed on me the guy just you know all of a sudden was un unreachable right it's kind of a classic you know classic uh, probably filled it I would assume and so he just stopped responding I mean, hey, it, it is what it is, you know. The nice, the nice situation for me is it's not like I am on the clock and I'm I'm out of my place come May first, you know. I'm just actively looking for a uh, you know a better living situation with fiber. But you know, there's no reason why I can't just stay here until I find one. You know, I just have to endure Comcast is all. Yes, I will. I will not be homeless. This is a fact. Such a hype introduction, FMV. I started a new show today. At least I watched the first 15 minutes of it while I was uh, kind of getting ready for the stream. Any of you guys checked out the new uh, Amazon show Fallout yet? As uh, my roommate was talking about it, and I've heard a couple of you guys talk about it, and so I was like, well, I'm just kind of uh, getting the stream together. I, I put it on my my second computer. And I watched yeah, maybe about half of the first episode. I thought it was a really, really intriguing start. And I'm excited to uh, excited to get into it tonight. I guess it's, it's based on the, the Bethesda Fallout game. And... Uh, it drops all eight episodes already, so it's it's very bingeable. That's exactly what I'm looking for. It's kind of sci-fi, you know. I, I've played Fallout. 
way, way, way back in the day. And I remember I don't, I didn't love the game, but you know, I thought it was like an, an okay game. But uh, I've heard really rave reviews of the show, and so I, 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 uh, I'm excited tonight to uh, to get into it. It's so on point with the game's lore and everything. You already binged it all. Wow. Yeah, I played, so the only one I played was Fallout 3. And, uh, I mean, look, I am not a... What would you call Fallout? What kind of, what kind of genre would you call Fallout? Fallout 3 was one that a roommate of mine had, and uh, I think I was bored one day, and I was like, alright, let's try out Fallout. An open-world RPG. Yeah. I don't know, I think I just found the game a little too weird. A little too weird for my liking. Maybe, maybe by the time I played it, a little too dated, too. It had, it had been out for quite a while. How's your Sunday going? Hey, what law? How you doing? Thanks for the tier one for 14 months. Still loving the work. Also, the library of games now is great to watch. Yeah, man. Adding in, I think you mean adding in FF8. And soon, to add in, if you guys were not here yesterday, Final Fantasy XII. As uh, chat got all in a frenzy, asked for a sub-goal, and I said, well, I'm not really interested in learning it, but if you want to hit it, I'll do it. And uh, chat knocked it out of the park. And so we have our, uh, we have our schedule kind of set. We're going to be learning FF8 Hundo next week, and then if we're done after that, we're going to get into learn. We're going to do a casual, speedy, casual playthrough of FF12, and then we will uh, we will learn the any percent speedrun of TZA after we're done. I think is the I think is what we're going to learn. It's about two hours forty minutes for the world record. Shouldn't be you know super long. And uh, I'm excited. I'm really excited. So our next couple weeks are kind of kind of laid out already uh, in front of us. You know, I'll throw in some seven. I'll probably throw in some Sea of Stars in that time. You guys know me. But uh, that will be kind of the main uh, the main kind of learning uh, content that uh, that we'll do. And I'm excited. I think I'm most excited to actually play twelve casually. Maybe even more so than learn the speedrun. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We have an Elastoid Jelly Eye. That is Gala Top Center. Catcher Pillar, Center Right. Fungar, Bottom Right. I haven't done this one in a minute. Fastido Cologne, top left, and then the win. And that's just a little bit of a slow Twistus card, I feel, but uh, it is kind of interesting. You know, I think some frames feel like they, they take a little bit longer. I think that one might be one of them. That is the first frame of the Quistus card. The Elastoid with a jelly eye underneath it. I wanted to, Torin. Uh, yeah, Matthews asked me actually, and uh, I, I I called him today. I was like, I was called him just to verify that you know we were still on, and they didn't even answer. So I think it was a classic situation of they must have filled it. Uh, 
And so on to the next, you know? No harm, no foul. I'm in no rush. I, I want to get out of here, but it's not like I'm really in a rush, so... You know, just on to the next, uh, search. <clears throat> all, all that it means. It just means it wasn't the one. Nice, no encounter. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think, you know, the nice thing about my situation is I'm literally in no rush, right? Because the only thing that's making me move is simply Comcast, right? And I accidentally have been made some mistakes here, kind of silly mistakes. But uh, it's, it's not a bad situation to be in, you know, because I, uh, I can just make sure that the place is going to be perfect. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to have to settle, which is, you know, a nice thing to, to understand that, you know, if, if, if I have to be here an extra month, it just means an extra month that, you know, we just kind of have to put up with Comcast, and that's not like the end of the world. You know, we've put up with it for three years, we can put up with it for another month more, right? Nope. Uh, ability to book. I go too fast through there, I think. I need to slow it down to speed it up. Oh. Rusty day. Rusty menus. Very rusty. Jeez. <laughs> that was terrible. Yeah, I get my fingers flying. Still gotta, still gotta warm up, I guess. Hey, Power. Yeah, welcome back on in. How you doing? And I'm back for more abuse today. Glad you made it too. And so we need six thunder out of Squall. That is four. And so we'll do a couple more here. Seven out of Quistus. Love that. And we're good to go with a lot of extra thunder. Okay. Wouldn't call that a bad fight at all. something you're very much interested in getting into. And do you say that since you know I was an archery instructor and competitor for nine years? I'm not sure if you knew that or not. It is very expensive. There is a saying in archery, it will, uh, it will a hundred dollar you to death. And that is a very accurate saying. Uh, yeah, I was a uh, junior Olympic archery development coach. Uh, that means the kiddos, aged 3 to 18, for uh, nine years. And I was an Olympic archery competitor for about four of that. And uh, we have an archery channel in Discord, and so if you have any uh, archery questions, or you always want to, ever want to just talk shop, I'm, I'm loving it. I love talking archery. It's probably like my favorite thing to talk. No! I did not mean to do that. Shit. Ooh. Do I know a guy named Kellen Morgan? Uh, it doesn't ring a bell. So five and six and a half. Okay. Let's nice start here. Well, I mean, that'll help out the, the threshold, the uh, Renzo threshold. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and a half. Hopefully we don't lose Squall here, though. And the win. Well, I would call this a pretty uh, tasty Ifrit. Pretty tasty Ifrit, really. 
Wow, overkill, huh? And the rough divide for time loss. Let's go, baby. We, we, we're hard around here. We have a hard and fast rule. We only rough divide for time loss. Gotta stick to our gotta stick to our motto. He's an archery teacher and used to compete. We went to high school together. Got it. Got it. Yeah, I haven't uh, haven't heard of him. All right. Well, hey, great start. Great start. After my not so great menu, so I'm very happy about that. Um, boom. Uh, forgot to take off that and do that and that. And rock and roll to the fish. Time for our fish phase. It's always by Buell, but I feel like it um, should be a bomb. I don't know why it's a Buell. And the notes say it should be a bomb fight. Doesn't really matter. I'm just kind of curious as to why that why that might be. Well, if we luck into a nice three fish fin uh, section, I think we're going to be off to a uh, spectacular start here. idea of a crossbow. You understand there are a lot of negatives to a crossbow you think it'd be neat to figure out. Well, I mean, first of all, not all states are really uh, conducive to shooting uh, crossbows. Like, in Oregon, it's illegal to hunt with a crossbow, unless you're handicapped. And so, not many shops sell crossbows. Like, it's not a very common thing to, to see. Now, I believe in Washington, you can crossbow hunt. And so, like, in Washington, it would be a more, it would be, like, a more popular, you know, popular uh, thing to, to find. The, uh, the thing about me and crossbows is, ouch, that is super rude, is um, they are uh, for a shop. Uh, we actually would not work on crossbows because of the liability that is associated with it. Crossbows are very, uh are under way more pressure than a normal bow. And so when they blow up, or anything goes wrong with them when you're working on them, you might die. It might kill you. And so uh, we actually would not touch crossbows at our shop. Wow, look at that. So, so we got an instant encounter, and then I had to basically run more than the distance from the fire cavern to the beach there to force my fish. That was funny. Uh, well, we'll do that then. I need a hit on her, too. Uh, good, there we go. Nice. Hey, Torelli, happy Sunday, how you doing? Well, I like where we're at here. If I could find this thing. Jeez. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that fish would target Quistus there and make this a little easier to find the limit. Alright, we got five on our first fish fin drop yesterday. Two! That's a good start. That is a good start. Why must you laser eye? I think it's just hard to kill Torin without a laser eye. That's just the fastest way by by far. I'm not sure it's a must. I think it's just you know uh, it's the ideal the ideal strat here. And so we're very happy they target Aquistus and. Uh, the thunder pops them out of the, the sand, and that allows Quistus to do enough damage. I think when they're in the sand, a laser eye basically does nothing. And so they are shielded, you know, by the sand, if you will. Wow, 
Well, if we see a two here, we are off to a very positive start. If we see a one here, we're going to be a little nervous. If we see zero, we're going to be mad. All right, th those are the order of events here. Happy nervous match. Oh no, we're nervous. Shit. Fuck. Well, we have a 50% chance to uh, be out of here. Or we have to do a fourth fight. Well, this has been a very smooth section, but will it be a lucky enough section? Is going to be the question. Right? Are we going to see two fish fins and be happy, or are we going to cry? A little sip off of my caramel macchiato for good luck. Come on, fish. Show me the fins. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Oof. Oof. Just something about it, huh? Even saved time. Wow. Rock and roll. Go us. Very good fishies, yes. Well, it's one of our better starts we've had. Just a uh, reminder that the plan today is I didn't really want to do an 8 run. But I talked myself into it. I wanted to do Dillette to see if it was a decent enough run to, to start. And so we're, we're, we're kind of halfway there, you know, to a start now. And if it was a really shitty start, I would throw it away and we would do a Sea of Stars run today. So for all my eight friends, you're, you're hoping for a nice Dillette. And if you're a Sea of Stars slug jammer, you're kind of hoping for a really shitty start. As I will probably run Sea of Stars then. You know, I can tell you, I would actually, I was much more excited today to uh, do my first ever run with the new speed run relic for uh, Sea of Stars that was released two days ago. And uh, I I'm excited to see like how much time it's going to save, and that means we need to finish a run, right, to figure that out. And so uh, I I'm actually really excited to do that, but I you know, I'm, I'm in this tricky spot where I want to start 100% tomorrow, right? But I'm not going to be happy if I haven't gotten this PB yet. And now today's like my final day. So, you know, I, I talked myself into it to, to do another. And so here I am. Back for more FF8 abuse. Hey, Torin, how are you? Very good to see everyone trickling on into the house today. What is today? Today is the 14th. Sunday. What is the 17th? We have a sponsorship coming up on Friday, actually. What day is Friday? That's when I'm going to do it. We have a two-hour sponsorship that we need to do between Wednesday and Saturday for a, uh, a actually really interesting looking game I'm excited to try out. It's a Zelda-inspired, like, you know, term, like, retro RPG game by an indie studio. And they reached out to me and they wanted to, uh, they asked me to send them a quote for two hours of, of gameplay. And I did what I always do. I was like, well, what is the maximum I want? Okay, that's the maximum I want. I doubled it and I sent it back. And they said, heck yes! <laughs> Which was quite uh, to my delight, as it was quite a large number. 
And so we have uh, two hours of... I'm trying to remember the game. Oh, Kingsgrave. Two hours of Kingsgrave that uh, they are paying me way too much money to do on Friday. But hey, I will not say no to that. I will not say no. I'm basically making more money than my dad made per hour as like a lawyer in Portland. <laughs> Feels good, man. It's, it's definitely, definitely does feel good. These these guys, like, they pay these companies pay out insane amounts. If you're good at what you do, and you know if you know your worth, and you're you're bold, and you're willing to hit them with a big number. It's really remarkable how often they come back and say yes. It's really remarkable. And I've learned I've learned through experience over three and a half years how to really you know, how to really kind of handle these and and I've learned that's what you do. You know, you you, you think about your top dollar, about the maximum you would ask for, double it every time, and then send it back. And most of the time they say yes to it. Hey, B. Alice, welcome on back. Um, not well, not well. But we're back again, brother, and uh, I'm I'm excited. I'm comfy. I'm here for a run. I'm glad you made it too. Caramel macchiato. What are you guys working on for your Sunday, huh? I have a banana I'm working on. A little snack. I have a caramel macchiato from Starbucks that is cold. As in, it was warm and it's cold and now I'm very unhappy with it. What are you guys doing for your Sunday? Sunday or Monday? Some of you already live in the Monday life, I think, right? Living that Aussie, oi, 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 Monday life. Is it Monday in Australia already? <clears throat> Got a four-hour shift about to start. There you go. A little FF8 to spirit you through it quickly, I hope. Four hours, that is a very quick shift, yeah. That's like a half day for me. Although, uh, I mean, a half day for a normal guy. <laughs> my full days are about five or six hours myself when I do work these days. I'm definitely, I'm definitely one foot out of the door at my company at the moment. Definitely kind of what, how I would sum up my, my current interest in my, my job. I have a very nice job and I've, I've held it for a while, but I uh, have been very well aware I don't really need it. And uh, I've held on to it for as long as I can until I'm like, yeah, we, we just need to quit and just uh, decide this is the ticket. But I've held on for as long as I can. And I think I'm finally at this, the point where I'm like, yeah, it's, it's time to uh, transition away from, from work. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the follows tonight. You got a three hour shift Thursday. Now what is the point of a three hour shift, you know? I feel like that's like going into work just to turn around again. Like the commute would be irritating to me for just three hours if I'm gonna be make it worth my time to show up. I, I feel like three hours just ain't worth it. How do you how do you feel about that? Yeah, 
I mean, look, I, I'm excited to do this sponsorship one. King's Grave does look pretty cool. I mean, Zelda-inspired retro RPG? I mean, sign me up. That sounds right up my alley, right? And whether it's a terrible two hours of gameplay or awesome, I mean, I can always make it exciting and entertaining, you know? We can always have fun. The, the ironic thing about this sponsorship is I was like, man, two hours is so short, guys. You're paying me a lot of money. Can I do four for you? And they were like, nah, just do two. <laughs> I was about that was so funny. Average shift is six hours. I mean, that's about what I work these days, so I don't, uh, I don't, uh, I don't think that's unusual. Nice no turn for our first soldier fight. Two hours for that kind of game seems like mostly tutorials and learning it. I mean, it totally might be true. Yeah. Hey, Ut Hat. They've been they've been going really well. I've been having fun. I've been having fun, which is good because uh, <laughs> this is a pretty rough speed run. Sometimes it needs to be enjoyable. So it's very uh, very nice than it is. Well, look at that uh, HP. Oh, it didn't kill him. What? Oh, I'm, well, maybe I missed? <laughs> maybe I. Oh, I think I attacked the same guy with Squall. That's what occurred, yeah. Uh, how you doing, Neon Font? Good to see you. Neon, have you checked out the new uh, speedrun relic yet yourself? For Sea of Stars? I know you were hanging out for it, but I, I, I wondered if you actually gave it a shot. Uh, the deal tonight is we're gonna we're gonna see if we can get a, an eight run started and see if we can have a good enough to let you know to entertain a run and if we can we are going to, we can't we are um, we are going to do a sea of stars a full any percent glitchless run with the relic tonight to figure out the uh, time save yeah exactly that's what I'm, I'm really interested to find out too and so if this run ain't meant to be, we will uh, rock and roll SOS tonight, and I'm excited to do that. <clears throat> nice first turn. And I split that way late. Should have been about an even split. And I think we're set up for success on Anacondar. Cypher is not much of a dog person, huh? You know what I was just thinking about? How the Masters was uh, wrapping up today. Scheffler 9 under on the 10th hole. Homa 2 behind on 11. So they got, they're, they're about halfway through the day and Scheffler in the lead. Got it. Tiger sets career worst for a 72-hole event. Ouch. I mean, hey, the guy made the cut, right? 
He may have posted his career worst, but you, you gotta say, I would not have expected him to make the cut at least, so that's kind of cool. I think how he performed after that is kind of irrelevant. I'm not really sure there's a great answer to that hat. Why do eight runners prefer running the OG or the original? Well, some people just refuse to do a run not on original hardware. I mean, there are there are people like that. Um, I certainly am not one of them. I much prefer anything on PC and high definition and better graphics. I mean, I think, I think there are reasons why they remaster these games, and it's because they look better, right? And they have better quality of life. And so I am always going to be the kind of person who actually prefers to do a run as intended. Not, not as intended, but like with the modern improvements. You know, the pixel remasters for Final Fantasy 1 through 6, right? Same with Chrono Trigger. Um, same with PC running for 7, 8, 9, and 10 for me. And uh, so I don't think there's like a prep. I think it's just a preference. There's really no better or worse in my opinion. It's just what do you what do you prefer? And uh, that's really about it. Well, I prefer that to not hit Squall. And here goes the Renzo. Huh? Got Cell. Okay. Oh yeah, he counters. That's right. You gotta be careful there, I gotta remember the counter. Now, I don't know if Five is gonna win, and it did. Good. Oh, a rainbow and a condor. Hey, Jaybird. Is that right? Remastered 8 has a mod you can accidentally enable, and it would throw your. it would invalidate your run. And what is that, like a booster? A, 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 a faster speed setting of some sort. I mean, that would be unfortunate, but uh, I have never uh, had that happen, so it must be really difficult to do. You know, I'm just a little bit behind, so I'm gonna, gonna catch that back up. You got the HD remaster on Switch. It's pretty, pretty amazing. You know, I'm just someone who doesn't like the, uh, you know, for example, who was it? Swogie was running FF8, maybe even still is, I don't know, on uh, console this afternoon. And uh, Swog, um, he's an interesting streamer, but you know, I was watching it, and, my, and, and, you know, first thing I thought to myself was, man, this game looks like shit. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that just kind of sums up my opinion of, of, you know, why I prefer to run the remaster. It just looks better. Like, so, I, I mean, I think it looks better. And so I prefer it. And I, I really, I really find the look of the console pixelation to be pretty hard on my eyeballs. Is it Geronimo time? Hi, hi, Chumbo. How you doing, my friend? Hey, Luca. Glad you made it for an eight run. Bet you haven't seen one of these in a long time, huh? How you doing, Luca?
Thank you, thank you, thank you for the hydrate, Chumbo. What are we going with today? I have caramel macchiato, water, or I could crack a Miller Latte. What are we doing? I'll let you take your pick of your hydrate. The macchiato. Nice. Oh, don't you don't you denigrate my Miller latte. I'm I'm kind of a convert. Might uh, my my PBR days may be behind me. Definitely been uh, been enjoying quite a lot of Miller lattes lately. Number one is by far the cheapest uh, 12 pack at the store, and number two, God, is it like really smooth. It's a super smooth beer. I'm surprised I never tried it until, like, last year. I'm not speaking highly of it. I'm just saying it's smoother than a PBR and a Budweiser and a <laughs> cool. Well, maybe not a Coors, but it's a smooth-ass beer. As cheap beers go. I should say. And so thank you for your coffee. Here you go. What's our volume today? Are we in that perfect comfy zone for eight? I think so. Hit him with it, Nabuo. Hit him with that base. Thank you, Defiant. How's your Sunday? Remember, right? I think our our critical HP on Squall is like the bee's knees. 131 still. Very high crit. 120 is fine. Nice. I'm trying not to get a counter. I believe this guy counters if we attack. So I'm trying to not do that today. to hold on to the draw for Siren from Elverit. Squall's looking risky here, obviously. We uh, can't have an attack. Anyone will kill him. What do we got? All right, hanging in there. I need one more avoidance of an attack on Squall. You gonna do me a solid, brother? I think I need to see his attack, really. Yep, fuck you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can I get this off, is the question. Yeah, we can, good. Alrighty, well, snuck it in there. And the win. Elverit has an AoE move that will kill you. If, um, his next move, they'll, they'll kill Squall if he res him, so... You know, the concern for me there was I didn't get off the Renzo before his big AoE kill, and then I, I rezzed him for no reason. 
But nice, flipped that pretty late, probably about 20 seconds in the green. We got to time save a lot on the spider. If we can just have a good rough divide up to a minute of time. You can believe that. And uh, if that's a, a nice fight, we could be off to a great start. Hey, CG. You like turtles, do you? Well, thank you for letting me know your CG fact. What is your favorite kind of turtle? You turtle lover, you. All of them. Hmm. Equal opportunity turtle lover, I see. Good answer. Turtle's Paradise, yeah. I like that. All right, are you going to be nice, buddy? Any chance you're going to be nice to me? All we need is the rough divide. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Let's go, baby. Full minute time save, I think. Well, that's just how you draw up your spider fight. Sit down, sucker. Mm -hmm. Well, 45 seconds. I'll take it. Boy, that was a, just the fight we needed there. Just the fight we needed to get off to a great start. Well, it's only going to be rocking and rolling if we don't mess up the Zell card. How you doing, Solitary? Happy Sunday, brother. Hope you're having a good one. Another good one. Another good one so far. Just gotta keep it going. Keep it going, right? We have time save. About 10 seconds on the Delet Escape. We have about, oh, 30 seconds on a good Zelda Nip card, so we're not even done yet. With the early time save. Uh, oops. Is he gonna catch me now? I. He didn't trigger. Oh, good, just time loss. Okay. I've never done that where I, uh. I must not have stepped over the trigger. And, uh, that made me nervous that I was about to get into a fight. I didn't hear him jump over me. You, got, you know that. You can hear it, actually, if you didn't know that. There's like an audio. Uh, sound where you hear XATM hop back over you from right to left. And I didn't hear that, and I was like, whoa, 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 you know, we got problems here. But, uh, good to see no issue. Steps, rock and roll, and an excellent escape from the let. You've been watching a casual playthrough of Dark Souls, Ramza. Kind of debating buying it to give it a try, but it's fifty-four dollars on Steam for a thirteen-year-old game. That is really fucking expensive. Why is that? Hey, Laser, how are you? Always good to see you for another eight run, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Fifty-four 
$54 for Dark Souls 1? I wonder what the rationale is for that. There's got to be a way to find it cheaper than that. I mean, I guess I just say wait for a sale. Maybe all you can do. Just realized they stole our car, didn't they? <laughs> Fucking jerks. Oh. A little bonkerino there. And here we go for the, the Zelt card moment. This is very important. If it rips, the run rips with it. Boom, and we are first. Oh, it's Zelkard! Oh, um, he plays first. Uh, I mean, we, okay, we go second. <laughs> Shit, caught me off guard. Just lucked into the 10%. Uh, okay, uh, we play second, uh, here. Twist this, and I'm just trying not to mess this up. <laughs> Uh, we, we were good, right? Yes! Whoa, guys! I normally save 30 seconds there. <laughs> Look at how much that saves the luck into 10%. Holy shit. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I've never had that yet. That's a lot bigger than I thought. That best take a minute then to uh, do the setup of the, of the program and enter all of the info is what that indicates, right? So it takes me a minute to do that and to play the first game, is what that is indicative of. That's interesting. Well, I said we needed a good start to, to do a run or we'd do Sea of Stars. I think we have a good start. Alright, let's go. This is by far our best start ever. As you can imagine after that. Well, and now, now let's just hope that Diablos doesn't ruin our uh, our lovely start here. And uh, I will be really excited that I talked myself into doing an eight run, as I was I was strongly leaning towards Sea of Stars today, just for something different. Well, I mean, you kind of hope that's how it, it would work, Brent, right? You know, just a little more optimal every run. Uh, you know, a little more spiteful every run. You know, really, I just rum on, you know, I just, I'm fueled by vengeance and spite. And, you know, as that tank, you know, tops off, my runs only get more spiteful. <laughs> and they only become more, more speedy in reaction to it. And that was kind of what I was feeling today. I, I was feeling so spiteful to like the run deaths we've had lately that I was I was thinking it would be really nice to like just have a, a different kind of day and uh, enjoy all day in Sea of Stars. And uh, if we don't do Sea of Stars today, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Sea of Stars tomor tomorrow. And we and we're just going to start our 100% learning a day later. And we're going to start that on Tuesday, because I think I need a break from 8 before we get into Hundo. And uh, I bet you guys are probably kind of the same. At least, I, I bet a lot of you are the same. Now, I know there's your, you know, your 8 fans in the chat who literally only watch 8 runs, and that's the only thing they watch on the planet, I know. But, uh, you know, for those of you who that's not the case, you, know, you, you don't want to watch the same run ad infinitum, and, uh, we've had a lot of FF8. We've had a lot of FF8. And I don't want to just really rub it in, you know, because we got Hundo coming up next, right? So, I think a, a day off would be, would be really nice. Hey, Play, how are you? We could do a 10 Tuesday, we could. Thank you. 
We got Siren, 32, I think is what I saw. Uh, Shiva. L Magic for fine. Zell for Quistus, 32. Squall, uh, the magic, and rearrange. And we got plenty of time to chill, 32. So we wait 50, actually I think it was more like 30. So theoretically we exit out of here at 20 seconds to try to hasten up the, the garden guy entering the screen here. Hmm. I really appreciate that, Luca. And and you should. You should check out Sea of Stars. If if not just watching me play it, you should you should check it out yourself. You know, it, it won the indie game of the year last year for a reason. And um It gets the P-Town seal of approval. Very, very 10 out of 10. You know, I, I gave that game a 9.5 out of 10. I loved it. If you love games like Super Mario RPG, Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy VI, Golden Sun, and Secret of Mana, you can't not like Sea of Stars. And that is literally listing off the best of the best, you know, the hit list of of the indie RPGs, right? <clears throat> well then, it sounds to me like, lucky you. You have a lot of great content ahead of you. You haven't played Chrono Trigger? Would you stop watching my stream and go play it? What are you doing here? What are you doing here, Luca? <laughs> I like Sophie's prance. She looks so excited. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know, I know. That amazing first time Zell card was a uh, I'm a nip. I'm just gonna go with that today. Hey guys, did you know I learned the first time Zell manip? And we got it first time. How impressed are you? God damn I rock. It's my story and I'm sticking to it, Bear. How you doing? Happy Sunday, how are you? My tier two friendo. Hope you're doing well. A miserable Monday, huh? Not too bad. Well, what does that mean about most of your Mondays if a miserable one isn't too bad? <laughs> hey, hey, pity your Mondays, Bear. <clears throat> I think I need to work on your... need to work on your itinerary. M Mondays are always sucky, though. I, I feel that. But uh, for me, Mondays are Sundays and Wednesdays. As I have Tuesdays and Saturdays off. Yep, tomorrow's tax day. I know what Tirith is doing. Today. Being a streamer, I can tell you, taxes are annoying as fuck. I have so much to do for taxes. I, I wouldn't, dr I wouldn't dare dream of doing them myself. I mean, almost every sponsorship has its separate like filing. Be or, and a lot of them, some of them I did this year were out of country. You know, 
Um, Twitch hits you with multiple tax forms that they send you. It's not like one that's super simple like you just get from your company, you know. Um, I would not dream of doing my taxes myself. No way, no how. Shame on you, P-Town. It would only cost a second to join the garden committee and make best girl happy. You know, I challenge that. I think I would lose three to four seconds, actually. And I'm sorry, a selfie ain't worth three to four seconds. Love yourself, but not that much. As I have picked option one yesterday, and I was rather unhappy with the time loss <laughs> once I saw how much it was. Man, man, you tell him, Renoa. I love that little... sticking her tongue out. Oh, you're not even subs, so those are, those are, you know, empty threats, so come at me, Luca. <laughs> How you doing, Colton McCombo? Happy Sunday, my friend. How the heck are you not sub, Luca? You've been hanging out for, like, every eight run. And that means you're watching six minutes of ads every day. <laughs> I, I, I'm impressed. I'm just impressed. Hey, wow, would you look at that, Brent. That is very kind of you. Well, well, Luca Ryan. Enjoy your ad-free eight run all day, all week, all month, courtesy of Brent. And thank you so much, Brent. That is really kind of you. Very well-deserving eight uh, viewer. Luca's been hanging out for the eight content. Hey, Jim. Is 16 ounces a pint or a sh schooner? What's a schooner? Is that what a Aussies call a shoey? Or you, like, you know, drink a, a pint out of a shoe? Um, but 16 ounces is a pint. An American pint. A schooner is half a pint. No, it's a... F so... We have a standing offer on my channel. Five give subs, I will chug a 16-ounce beer. And tonight I have a Miller, Miller Lite. For your viewing and chugging pleasure. And thanks again, Brent, for the sub. I appreciate you. As we go to our make-out spot. Which would be very appropriate for a Miller Lite. Honestly, I think Squall, like, could use a Miller Lite. This guy needs to loosen up a little. This guy needs to kind of let loose, I feel. Like, he just strikes me as a guy who just has a stick up his ass and just kind of needs to let it free. Let free. You know, you know, just, uh... We need to take him out for a night on the town. Get him late or something. How is our HP on our boy here? Getting Squall late is the whole point of the game. <clears throat> yeah, imagine if we got him late to start the game, not the end of the game. Like, imagine how much different our playthrough would be, right? Hey, 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 you jerks. I was killing then. Okay, okay, fuck you, dude. Oh, fuck you! God, thank you. Uh, Quistus, you suck. God damn it. What a miserable fight. Look at this. I didn't know they had this ridiculously long turn. I had no idea. I had no idea, and now I am horrified about it. Oh, jeez. Well, that was fun to find out about there. Alright, well, we're not going to use that grat fight ever again. You know why that was stupid? There's a fight on the way out that has one grat. I should have waited for that. I learned my learned a lesson there. 
And we're not going to do that again. Fash, how you doing? Happy Sunday, my friendo. Everyone trickling on in tonight. I hope you're all doing great. Appreciate you hanging out around here. For another eight beatdown of P-Town. Two-man enter. Normally FF8 is the only one who leaves intact. And P-Town's a broken pile of bones by the time we're done. <laughs> But, you know, I just love the abuse. I'm back for more. Speaking of coffee, it goes a little more caramel macchiato. Here is our grat fight that I would have rather done that on <clears throat> last time. Also, not going to try to let the grat kill me. I'm learning, that was a tough lesson to learn there. And I'm still poisoned. This game in five where you felt yourself actually growing very fond of the main party? Five two, huh? So many main characters so many characters in five. I have I remember the loop very fondly, yeah. Um, I don't have a summon. Where's my summon? Uh oh. Am I dead here? Uh, this is going to be quite problematic here, guys. I don't know what occurred. I don't know what occurred. I'm gonna, yeah, what I'm going to do is Renzo everybody if I can, but I'm most likely going to die, is the problem. It's going to be the issue here. That's going to be the main issue. Uh, thunder? Oh, wait. Damn it. Uh, that was... I thought that was Quistus. So we're gonna lose Squall here. No! Fuck you. Oh, this is so bad. That is nasty. I don't know where on earth my... My Shiva went here. This is a bit nasty. The time loss. Uh. Wow! We're gonna get out of here, I think, but it's gonna be pretty nasty. <laughs> and I gotta figure out where Shiva went and why it's not equipped.
Well, definitely uh, Grinaldo the long way, but we survived it. We survived it. All right, <laughs> kept the run going. More power to us. And uh, there, Renzo percent. No kidding. All right, what on earth happened to Shiva here? On uh, on our girl. I mean, ironically, I'm still ahead of most of my runs, if not still ahead of all my runs at this point, despite that fight. But uh, I wonder what on earth happened here. And should she have anything else on, potentially? What might I have missed? Shiva on, uh, on Quistus. Uh, boom. Uh, okay. Uh... Oh, I just didn't do the ability for the Guardian Forest. That was literally it. I missed that one thing. Yep. So it was equipped. Everything's equipped right. I just didn't do GF. Got it. Little mistake that ended up being a big problem. That might have lost me a minute, I think. But that's really okay. You know, now we're just thinking about getting through Diablos with a nice fight and everything's right with the world. Oops. Training center. You know what's really funny is Diablos, if it went really well, has I think a two to three minute time save. I just have never have, uh, never been able to get it. I've never had a great fight. Think they have the technology to replicate Zell's hoverboard these days? I mean, aren't hovercrafts a real thing? I feel like I've I've heard of the hovercraft, like in IRL. And so I wonder if they could legitimately make a Zell hoverboard replica. Future tech. Kind of Marty McFly ish, yeah. I hadn't thought of that. That is true. Swedge, <clears throat> self for squall, uh, selfie for Quistus, ability, eye magic, refine, the wizard stones on you. GF on Ifrit to strength plus 40. And magic exchange the water for the Blazaga on there. Save it. And Diablos.
So apparently I had no idea this whole time Zell basically puts himself into crit. This is what I learned yesterday. Oh, we even got a Demi out of there. Two out of 32 or two out of 23. Wow. So am I right? Yeah, I'm close to it at least. Uh, okay. Who's this on? Uh, well... Hmm. Probably want to do a trigger from Squall this time. Yeah, there we go. I think we're good now. I, I don't know if he's actually in crit yet, though. Now he's in, now he does it. Alright, well here we go, this is getting risky now. This is where the real risk comes in. Oh, terrible. And I botched it. I just didn't get the first one in nearly soon enough. That's all I got, so we need to get another one in here. Don't kill Zell is the important thing now. Hands off of Zell. Okay, good. Okay. Got a lot to get through here. Alright, take care, gun, blade. See you when you get back. Enjoy that very short work day, my friend. Okay, we won. We're done. No moss, no moss, no moss, and we will save some time here. Let's go. 30 second time save, rock and roll chat. All right, we gotta run today, we gotta run. Rock and roll, go us. Uh, this way, yeah. Hey, Zellmaster, how you doing? Happy Sunday, my friend. Glad you made it for some FF8 today. Enjoy that gift sub from Torelli that was very kind yesterday. Hope you're having a good one. I swear sometimes there's the first time you enter here, you can, uh, you can enter the shop. I just don't know why sometimes I have to enter it the second time. Hey, hey, Dread. Happy Sunday. How's your, uh, how's your weekend wrapping up, my friend? Better late than never. We got a great run for you. We've been wondering where you're at. I sent out the search team and... We were about to call the cops. Get a missing person report out there. You're off now. Well, enjoy. Get a beverage of choice. Nat 20 honey. Enjoy your gift sub from Zell Master CZ. Pay him for the gift sub from Torelli. That's super kind. Thanks a lot, Zell. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy that ad free viewing Nat 20. And high doe eyes. So much to take care of here. I'm like a public service announcer. Finishing your tour of ten days. Tour of ten days. A tour. Is that like a... Um, a tour of duty? A, t a vacation tour? Or a different kind of tour? You're, you're in the entertainment. Got it. Okay. I see, I see. Like a USO tour? 
that kind of tour. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 60 stream streak from Dave. Thank you, Dave. That's a big old streak. Very girthy. <clears throat> you two are in France and Belgium with your crew. Nice. I always like learning about learning about community members, what they do. I enjoy that actually. Probably find I know what most of my community does professionally, actually. As my community is my family, I love you guys. You mean a lot to me. Ooh, getting a little nervous there. I mean, there's only one more fight. But I will be safe, I will be safe. Only two weeks left and you're on vacay? Oh, hell yeah. More power to you. Looking great on the step route. Kind of ahead, actually. This fight concerned me. You know, three of them, everyone low HP. Probably could have, you know, argued that was a very safe thing to do, but I like a little safety. Hey, no worries. Thanks for the gift sub, Zell. You rock. Enjoy that bitch. Try not to yell too loud when I die to the sorceresses. <laughs> Wouldn't want to wake you up. It was like, curse their name to the high heavens. What happened yesterday? Uh, one run crashed, and I forgot how the other one died. I mean, did they both crash? I, don't, I actually don't remember now. All I remember is we had one crash at the five hour mark. And it was the best run I'd ever had. So that kind of sums up the day yesterday. It was a rough day. It was a rough day, but I'm back and my head is held high. They both crashed, dub. Uh, Yeah, it looks great, Norio. Good to see you. Ifrit auto attack, magic draw, item strength 20. Okay. It's pretty hard to talk myself into another run after after yesterday, but you know, here I am. Manned up and doing it. Uh, auto attack, uh, magic draw, and item, and strength 20. Go ahead, Diablos, do your thing. Good menu. Good song. I'd gotten suspicious that there was some kind of, like, three-button combination that had been crash crashing the game or closing it that I wasn't realizing. But I'll tell you what, after the run yesterday, I, I toyed around on my computer, you know, booting up, I, I turned on FF8, booted up a game, a run, and I tried to crash it for about 15 minutes. I couldn't do it. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just gonna try to be a little more, little, little safer today. What I, what I had realized is I felt like it might have been crashing when I was muting my mic from time to time, which is my Control M binding, and it made me wonder if I was brushing a third button, maybe trying to mute too hastily. But I'll tell you what, as much as I tried, I couldn't, couldn't figure it out. So, you know, I'm, I'm just hoping for, hoping for better today. Mm -hmm. You'd 
love to be able to sing Eyes on Me, but it's so beautiful with the woman's voice. Yeah, and that's why I let Fei Wong take the lead when we when we sing it in space, right? I'm over at my mini fridge. As I look over, I believe I saw big follows. Yeah. Appreciate you. All right, I am back. Would you like to hear some news? I have some shocking news. That I can't explain. Literally shocking. Cheers. I, I, I went back to my mini fridge <laughs> to grab a beer, and, I, and there was no beer in my mini fridge. And I was like, wait a minute, I just got back from the store. Where's, where's the 12 pack of Miller Latte? I, I, I think I left it outside my door on the way in when I unlocked the door. And I went outside, and it's not there. I think a homeless guy just just walked off with a 12 pack and is enjoying a 12 pack of Miller Latte as we speak right now. That is exactly what I am 100% sure occurred. And so I hope that guy has a good time with my Miller Latte tonight. <laughs> 
No, in my neighborhood, it'll be a homeless dude. <laughs> or some, you know, fentanyl user. <laughs> oh, that's funny, that's funny. Alright guys, who's gonna go to the store for P-Town? We got problems here. We got no beer tonight. Major, major problem. Oh yes, it's the it's the best neighborhood. Yeah, I live in Rockwood, a part of Portland, and it is such a nice neighborhood. It is affectionately known as Glockwood. Yeah, now now they're gonna be waiting outside my door. I could, there'll be a camp outside my door from now on, ready to pounce when P Town forgets forgets to bring in his 12-pack of beer. Squatted, yeah, squatters outside my door. Exactly. <clears throat> I, I'm just keep thinking, like, wait a minute, what, what else could have happened to it? <laughs> I, 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 I just, I feel like I, I keep feeling like I'm gonna see a 12 pack around my house at some point, <laughs> just in some random spot. <laughs> but I'm pretty damn sure that's what happened. This guy, this guy walked off with a, a 12 pack of beer. My, I know my neighbors. They would they would just knock on my door and say, "Hey, here's your beer." Hey, Ambell Lee. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. I'm trying to get out of here as quickly as I can. But yes, there's a there's a reason why where I live in in uh, Rockwood is known affectionately as Glockwood. <clears throat> it is a uh, it is a really lovely part of town. You know, it's not directly on the street actually. Dread. That's the thing. It's not even close. It's actually up a quite a long driveway. That in no way would deter someone from coming up to steal the 12 pack of beer, though. I promise you. I promise you. I mean, I think that you must, uh, you underestimate the scope of the homeless crisis in this neighborhood and, and fentanyl and, and, and crisis. That is not a deterrent. As much as I would love for it to be. But cheers, guys. Thanks for hanging out around here. And uh, subs for Chugs, not in effect tonight, apparently. So I will turn that off, so that I don't scam anybody, huh? There. <clears throat> Who knows, maybe I'll find it and we'll turn him back on, I don't know. Beerless P-Town, I know. Am I sure it's just not somewhere auspicious in my house? I'm not sure, but I don't know where the brakes are in this run well enough yet <laughs> to be able to go look around. Door dash some beer. I'm actually gonna ask David if he's gonna go to the store.
You know what I've never tried to do? I've never tried to DoorDash alcohol. I'm not even sure how you do that. I just, I just went and looked around again, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just so perplexed. It's one of those situations where I feel like I'm... I'm kind of losing my mind. Going a little loco. Ah, you need to show ID when they deliver it? Got it. You know, it's interesting, I've never tried. Never had a need, I guess. Well, time for our game face. Get our codes going here. I've never tried to DoorDash alcohol. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Got okay, three in a row here. Two, one, two, four. Code number one. Code number two. Four, two, four, one. Okay, nice final and third code. One, three, three, two. Nice, nice, and nice. Good start. <clears throat> they do have grocery. Oh, they have, they have alcohol on here. You're right. Huh. Safeway beer and wine. Popular deals. Oh. Yeah, I can literally just get a 12-pack of... of beer in 40 minutes, huh? Okay, All right, what are we getting, chat? We can pick our... we can pick what kind of beer we want. Apparently we're doing this. Newcastle Brown Ale. Orville. Blue Moon? No, it's gotta be poundable. It's gotta be a 16 ounce something. Only way to fly. Red Stripe? <clears throat> I've had Red Stripe since college. In quite a while. Alright, two and then three here. Three, two, two, two. Coors Banquet? Uh, they, Coors Banquet's on their featured list, actually. Two, three, two, four. Hey, Ouija, how are you? Up, up, up. <clears throat> uh, mostly uh, American. Two, 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 three. Yeah, I've had Newcastle. Two, four, one, four. And? Oh, he's coming. Up, up, up. Oh, God. There's RNG in this. Saw that out of the corner of my eye. Three, three, two, three. Nice catch. And there we go. Well, I could just order the identical Miller Lite 12-pack. I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh wait, that is a 30 pack. I don't need that.
There she be. Miller Lite, add to cart, $18.39. And your Jiro Jiro menu. Quetzalcoatl. Shiva Diablos, auto attack, magic draw item, Zell for selfie. Uh, auto attack, magic draw item. And go. Check out. See how this works. They don't need, like, ID or something? I just, I'm surprised you can order beer without, like... We'll need to verify your age for alcohol orders. Yeah, upload your ID once to be able to add alcohol to your orders. During your delivery. Dashers need to scan the ID of the a 21 and over adult. Huh. So I need to take a photo of it. I don't know if I can do that while I'm speedrunning, though. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? And the kill. Very nice. And the elixir on the fake present. Alright, GG. <clears throat> Very GG. Hey, hey, Hambell, look at that 60 stream streak. You rock. And there is a 50 second time save. Make it 45. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Rock and roll. Well, you know what? I will just have to enjoy my night. Burr free. What a shame. Selfie. For some reason, a menu I'm just like never ready for. Timber time. <clears throat> Do our card modding, our HP Jang on Quetz, nothing on Shiva, Ifrit Shiva Diablos for the Hyper Wrist, Spiderweb for Ultra Wave on Quistus, and then the Strength, the Strength, the Auto Attack, good to go. Okay. <clears throat> Very exciting.
some step route uh, stuff to be attentive to here. HP Junction, Shiva, you learn nothing. And go ahead and item me Hyper Wrist. Okay, Junction on Squall. You get HP plus 60. Selfie, uh, you are auto attack. And HP plus 60. And then get a fight. And walk five steps after. I think we figured out yesterday, it's like five steps exactly to the loading zone. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And fight right about there. Okay. Alrighty, cool, cool, cool. Step route looking right on point. Fights. A fight that I thought was not supposed to happen for a long time, and then I realized that uh, it's actually a routed in encounter. And that I would love to flee from someday. There we go. Encounter where Noah takes a back seat here. Very nice, no turn, rock and roll. Uh, sell our elemental attack and buy three, thirty one, and twenty one, and it is go time. I need to be buffering that movement so that we get some bonus for the, the movement in the in the dark there when the screen's fading in. Cosmic, you look like you're having a good Sunday. How are you? Frog Pog, hell yeah. Mm, always good, right? Definitely the soundtrack uh, keeps me motivated. If it wasn't for the soundtrack being so good, I would not be running this today. I would be doing Sea of Stars, 100%. We'd be doing a Surai Sunday instead. You got back. Did you, did you bring me some beer, Dirty One? I discovered, a, a, I think a homeless person stole my toll pack. I think I left it outside my door. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty convinced. So I hope you brought some beer. Oh, thanks, man. I knew I could count on you. Appreciate you.
Really good, actually. Not a single frame drop all day. Watch it start coming in hot and heavy now. All right. We've conjured uh, the ire of Conkvex. Happy Sunday, Cutsman. How you doing, my friend? While speedrunning, I am capable of photographing my ID. Pretty big ask, really. And uploading it <laughs> to DoorDash. Have to be a little more careful today and hope for the best. Well, so far, so good today. said hello to you already though. Hope you're having a good one. Cheers.
thank you, thank you. <clears throat> for that flush. I don't know where I'll find a place to flush, but I'll try. I will try. for that sub-8. I mean, there's no doubt about that. I think I'm literally uh, at the end, yeah. So, virtually. back on the um, important stuff here. Cancel out of that. Enjoy our zone. A little moment here. Timber time. Well, okay. Good start. <clears throat> I have gone a couple runs with no encounter here. Like, you know, I've, I've successfully not gotten even one. I kind of love how no encounters on the road in FF8, right? So. So weird. That's probably so true, right? Good. Alright, only the one. I'll 
take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. JC, how you doing, man? Very good to see you. Happy Sunday. Just in time for Laguna Dream 2 here. provided a uh, homeless person my 12 pack of Miller Lite too. <laughs> I think I left it outside of my door and uh, when I went back up after streaming it was no longer there. I only realized it when I went back to my mini fridge and lo and behold no beer there. And so hey you know he's just having a great time courtesy of P-Town tonight. More power to him. I'm, I'm gonna see if this can be done. Okay. Okay, I just submitted my ID. Back, I think we're always back attacked here. I'm kind of realizing that. What is this going to do? 583? I'm do another one. There we go. I want to take Ward out of the equation here. My age was verified. That's all it took? All I did was upload the front picture of my ID and boom, I can order alcohol. That actually seems so easy, it kind of scares me. And so when they come to the door, a valid ID. Dude, like, a kid could do this, man. A kid could 100% have alcohol delivered, you know? That's the first thing that occurred to me. Like, that's so easy, I mean. <clears throat> but, hey, whatever. I guess that's why they need your ID at the door, so it's not a kid. So you can prove it's not a kid doing this. Yeah, I doubt many check at the door, too. We'll find out. I'm gonna order something here. So we'll see. However, eye on the prize first. Gotta get to the, uh... Gotta get to the end here. For our fight blitz, remember all of our steps, all of our important stuff here. Oh, another leg cramp. Crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Up and left, next screen. Okay. Up and left, and to up. A little behind, so I'll probably do a, a menu buffer or two. Just a little bit behind here. <clears throat> Five steps. I want to keep the step route on point today, so I want to try and catch up here again. I was just a little bit behind. I think that might do it. Alone right there. And that encounter would have been right here. <clears throat> that we underwalked. So good. 
cool. <clears throat> so what does it say here about what you have to do with the door? If the recipient is underage, intoxicated, or unavailable, the items pictured above will be removed from the delivery bag. You'll be charged an undeliverable item fee. Interesting. Signature may be required, so it's okay. Sign and accept. Okay. So for this 1899 12 pack, it's, it's gonna run me $35. Double the cost. And it's trying to get me to give a $6 tip. I think not. I think not. I think not. Alright, there we go. I've, yeah, I've I would never do this normally if it wasn't for the fact that I just... I forgot today. I mean, I didn't forget. I left it outside of the door. And I'm streaming all night. And I would not mind a couple beers. Standard delivery, 45 minutes. I mean, hey, it's my fault. It's my fault. I'm gonna pull the trigger on it. And this will be our first ever attempt to order beer. So it's a $5 delivery fee, $5.50 of fees on top of that. So I'm paying $10 in fees for an $18.99. Yeah. Boy, that's so, so uh, scammy, so expensive. That's why I, I would never, ever do this. And so Laguna Dream 2, done and done. Wow, gold split. That seems like a misplit. I think that's probably incorrect, but... Yeah, that's nuts. I'm I'm placing the order though for twenty nine sixty two. Twelve beers for eighteen ninety nine. Oh, you're all good, Ambali. Very kind of you. I'm next, I'm just gonna do this for the learning experience. I want to see if they even ask me for ID. And so the order is placed. Chat. We have a twelve pack of Miller Latte coming to our door between four twenty and four thirty. So in half an hour. Yeah, it could be worse, right? When I go to a Blazer game, I, pl I pay $13 for a Budweiser 16-ounce beer. When I go to a Blazer game in Portland. Blazers are an NBA, you know, professional team. And uh, that is anywhere in the arena. No matter if you're in the suites, the nosebleed, you know, front row, everyone pays $13 a beer. Pretty expensive. I mean, I do. I, I would always pregame. I worked for a company that owned two um, suites, and so I would get free tickets to the games, and and we would definitely pregame and sneak in our own stuff. Yeah. Or else you're gonna run up a two hundred dollar tab before you know it. You know, because if I'm going, I'm probably entertaining for a group of people, and I like to be the one buying. And, uh, man, that gets expensive. <clears throat> I like this wheel guy, but boy, he has a long attack. Sleep. Oh, this is the attack. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's funny is I have a, I ordered from Safeway. I have a Safeway like a couple blocks from my house. It ordered from a Safeway about 10 miles away. 
Sometimes I wonder about these apps. This happens to me more often than it should. I remember I one time had a guy who took two hours to deliver me my food. From a Panda Express that came from the opposite side of town. When there was a Panda Express, like, you know, a couple minutes away from me. And I didn't realize it until it was too late. And the guy still delivered the goddamn thing two hours in commuting. I couldn't believe, what I couldn't believe is that he delivered it, you know? Instead of can canceling the order. <clears throat> well, alright. P-Town apparently can order beer online. Crazy. What a crazy world we live in. Sitting down with Panda Express herself. I just mentioned Panda. How are you, Sindrag? Amberly, you ordered Taco Bell the other day, and then it showed up at midnight. You said that yesterday, and I ignored it, but I saw you. I remember. Yeah. Taco Bell, S tier fast food. At least we can all agree on that. No, you're, you're all good. You're all good. But uh, I think Taco Bell is in my top. Two fast food restaurants. And yeah, yeah, we can. We can all agree on this. Definitely S tier fast food. What, what do you guys include then in your S tier of fast food? I, here's my here's my S tier. Taco Bell, Wendy's, McDonald's sausage egg McMuffin breakfast. Am I willing to include any other, any other fast food? I don't eat a whole lot of fast food as a thing, so like, it's kind of rare I even consider it. Whataburger, In-N-Out, Jack in the Box. Wendy's, Slim Jim's, Dave's Hot Chicken. You know, I've never had Whataburger. I have had In-N-Out, and I can say that was really good S-tier, for sure. Culver's. I've heard of Culver's. You know what I know Culver's from? Mutsky used to talk about Culver's, I think. He also was an 8-runner. He's from Texas. I think he lives in Austin or something. Or Houston. And he would always rave about Culver's. But it's not, it's not around the Northwest. I, I don't know. Culver's is your fiance's favorite place. Really, Mutsky's moving to Canada? Huh, what is he gonna do up there? He was a, he's a teacher here, he's a middle school teacher. <clears throat> he used to love Chick fil A. Well, that's a good reason to there, Dirty One. I don't think I've ever eaten at a Chick-fil-A. We have them in town. I've just have never looked at one and been like, Yeah, that looks really good. I'm going to go there. I haven't had that happen. But it's not really a chicken fan. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a chicken guy, that's why. Like, you know, McDonald's, I've never ordered a McChicken or whatever. You know, KFC, but not a big KFC guy. I'm more a burger guy, not a chicken guy. If I had to, if you had to peg me on something. Now, what if this guy arrives and I'm in the middle of like a boss fight? Do I just lose? I think we need to get so far ahead that we just don't care, right? Is this the plan, guys? Are we all in agreement here? When this guy shows up, I'm gonna run to the door. <laughs> Hopefully it's a place where we could not lose time. And I'm gonna try to lose as, as minimal time getting my 12 pack as I can. This is happening though. This is totally happening. And uh, we just need to get so far ahead we can handle like, you know, 60 seconds of time loss if that's how long it takes. Hopefully not, but you never know. 
Well, well, I've already tried that strat, leaving it at the door, and uh, that didn't work well. Also, it says here they need to scan my ID, potentially, which I don't know if I believe, but apparently that is a chance that that might happen. Quistus are your tents, and then your Samantha Souls are for Squalzel Irvine, Black Holes for Irvine. We start to work on encounter half for Diablos, and then all to Zell for Irvine, all to Zell for Squall. On to attack, on to attack, and then time to count holes to get our two and a half minute Caraway Code time save. Yo, yo, army retired. How you doing, brother? I don't think I've caught up with you in about a week. How you, how you doing, man? How's Bella doing? Always a pleasure to see you in the house. <clears throat> Glad to hear she's doing all right. She stayed with the sitter while you were away. Uh, this is Irvine and Zell. And Irvine for a selfie. Okay. Well, I'm glad to hear Bella's hanging in there. And we would love no encounter here. Okay. L Magic Refine. Squall Irvine Quistus. Um tent. Okay, time refine the Samantha Soul. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, the black hole on you. Okay. Diablos for encounter half. Magic all to Zell. All to Zell. Okay. Uh, no need to heal. I think we're all good. Okay. A good time in Texas? Nice, man. Glad to hear you uh, had some vacay. FF8's going really well. I'm having a great time with it, ARMY, but the reality is I haven't finished a run in about two weeks now, maybe more. And I think in that time I've had like five or six, maybe even seven runs die ten minutes ahead of pace in the latter half of the run. So it's been good, but it's been a little aggravating. And today is kind of my final run I'm willing to do. For some time before I'm willing to come back to it. So if tonight's not the night, I'm not sure we're going to be getting a new PB for a while. Yeah, I know. Oh, wow is right. <laughs> All right, guys. Time to count poles outside the window. Yeah, we're going to attempt 100%. And then we hit a sub goal yesterday, Army, to do a two-day casual playthrough of FF12 and learn the speedrun. And we're going to do that after Hundo. Time to count. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. <clears throat> One, two, three, nine and three. One, two, nine, three, two. One, whoa, nine, three, two, one. One, two, three. Nine, three, two, one, five. Well, that has to be only one answer, right? How can it not be? Nine, three, two. Yeah, there's only one answer here. One. Oh, wait. When I enter the one, it changes it. Why is that? And then question mark. Changes it again. What are you guys getting? I'm getting 44. And I, what I find strange about that is when I don't put in the question mark, and I just put in 9321, it says the answer is 38. But when I put in the question mark, it says the answer is 44. I don't understand why that changes there. And I, I think I have the right answer, but I just don't know the why. Why that, why that would matter. Interesting. So, yeah, you know, if you're a 12-fan army, we're going to be uh, learning 
I'm playing. I've never played 12. This will be our very first uh, even looking at the game. Uh, casual playthrough and then learn the speedrun. I'm excited. I'm excited because you guys are excited. Now, you guys wanted it, not me. And uh, so I get excited when you guys are too. Yeah, we're gonna start learning Hundo probably on Tuesday. Probably on Tuesday, actually. I'm gonna do a Sea of Stars run tomorrow, I'm pretty sure. I see, I see. Well, if it's not 44, it could be 21. <clears throat> yeah, Moon Cradle Monday. I just, we need a break from the 8 AIM Pine. What do you think, man? It's just, 8's great, and I love it, but I can't get into Hundo immediately. I'm gonna lose my mind. You know what I mean? I need something to, like, rinse and repeat, uh, before I get into Hundo. Or else it's just too much, uh, eight, in my opinion. And there you go, two minute, twenty second time save. Yeah. I agree, yeah. The crashes have been really tough. The one last night, especially tough, right? Because we were so far ahead, and... And the run was so good, and we were just having fun, right? It's hard to accept that when you're just having fun. You know, because you feel like you're being robbed of your, your fun. And it's a real bad feeling. I totally know what you mean. That it's okay to die to an enemy, but the game crashing is just tough to handle. And, and I think that's why we need a fun day in Sea of Stars. Just kind of forget about the crashing from FF8, right? It's exactly what we need. So they let me know when my shoppers start shopping. Okay. And then it says I'll, I will need to be at the door for them to scan my ID. I see, I see, I see. I know, I was getting really concerned, you know? The whole night was about to be thrown into a state of disarray. This person's <laughs> for a 12 pack of beer, they're driving at unreasonably long distance. This is funny, but hey, more power to them. Our dasher is Jeremy. I'm having the best uh, Delling City I've ever had so far. I remembered one buffer I've never remembered. That was the second to last movement screen we did. Exiting the big plaza. <clears throat> that one I never remember. You gotta be running up after you, you leave. So, looking good. Looking good here. You know, there's a lot of sections in FF8 where... You're, you should be very aware as a runner 
they are basically identical every run. This section doesn't seem like one that would be like that, right? Because it's such a big section, and you have three boss fights. You have the Igleon fight, you have the, uh, the Cypher fight, and the Adea fight. But they are basically scripted fights. You know, they're not scripted scripted, but you do the same thing every time. And the Igleon fight can get a turn and, and lose you some time, but that's really about it. And so the entire... I mean, what are we here for? We're here for half an hour or more. More than half an hour. Well, like 40 minutes. You know, it should be probably within 30 seconds every run. And so, you know, I want to I wanna get it dialed in so it's perfect every time. How's your Sunday going, mi amigo? Very good to see you. Who here is in Europe right now? I mean... Probably about 30% of chat. Hold on, I'm getting messages here. This is David. Am I getting calls? What is this? I have a new phone, and it's been making weird, weird noises today. I don't know why. Weird noise day. Da, da, da. Nope. All right. I know. Maybe it's a ghost phone. This is a good point. Maybe it's haunted. Mm, I got by selfie yesterday successfully for the very first time. Well, second time. <clears throat> but this time I did it on purpose. The first time I did it accidentally. And that was a routing mistake. I was not, I was not ready for that. You're up here at the... Arrive for some sleeping white noise. Well, enjoy. Let the sultry tones of FFA P Town lull you to sleep, my friend.
no a climb time. Hey, hey, Scott, how's your Sunday going, my friend? Good to see you. You guys were asking how many people were here from Europe. I was going to tell you. There's stats on that, actually. There are stats, and um, you see them on your, your Twitch analytics page. Excuse me. Da, 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 da. Apparently, I'm very relaxed today. Where do you find that? I think it's research. One thing I really appreciate Twitch for is all the analytics they provide. They provide a ton of analytics, and it's something I really like. I'm someone who kind of nerds out on that. And there, Gwumper, how you doing? Thank you for this three-stream streak. Are you Gawabunga? And did you change your name? Don't answer that, you are. Hey, thank you, Kite Men, for the feed me the hydrate. You, it is Gawa. I, I know, I'm so good with name changes. I always realize it immediately. That's funny. I know your emotes game so well, I knew, I knew it was you right away. Mm -hmm. Here you go, here's the breakdown. 53 United States, 9% Canadian. 8% United Kingdom. 6% Germany. That's really high. Oh, you're not? Oh, I thought you changed your name. Well, forget everything I said. Thank you for hanging out for the 8 content. There's another chatter, Gawabunga, whose color of the name is the same as yours. And... Although Gawa would have more subs. Sub, actually. More, more of a badge. And he has the same emotes that you use, and I thought, I thought they changed their name as well. France, 5%. Japan, 3%. Brazil, 3 Finland, 2 Australia, 2 I'm surprised to see 6% Germany. Must be FF8 is really strong with the Germans. Normally that's 3 or 4%. He's at the store. He's getting there now. Shopping's about to commence chat. And just so you guys know, when he arrives, we, we've already talked about this. I, I, first time I've ever had to pick up beer at the door. I guess I need to show ID. And so it's gonna be luck of the draw if it occurs during a place I cannot lose time. Right? And just spam turbo. Or if it's like, a, you know, a place where I'm gonna have to run to the door and lose about 60 seconds probably. You know, that's happening here coming up. Just be prepared for that. Luckily, we're so far in the green, you know, it's not going to be a big deal, but that is going to happen here.
<laughs> it would be fantastic if it PB's, right? Yeah. That's the goal today. That's the goal today. Let's get the run done over the line ahead of pace. We just need to feel good about another PB at this point. We just need to feel good about it. No matter how bad or good of a PB it is, we just need one. How you doing, Matty Ice? Good to see you. Alright, they are they're driving to me now. They're on their way. It says they'll be here in... In 12 minutes. Hey CG, how you doing? You got pizza on the brain on the brain again? You had pizza on the brain yesterday though. What is the eight sub goal for? Uh, nothing, just it just means I'm running eight, and that's the sub goal for today. That's all. That is just a uh, fairly generic uh, sub goal. I don't think about it too hard, FA. I don't think the FF8 developers did either. They were all about the neck frills and stuff, you know, like Quistus has like a neck brace, like well, that's not really a brace, but they really they really laid into like neck fashion in uh, in this game. Alrighty, Igwe on time. Don't forget your carb. Don't forget your carb, sir. Ah, they got a turn. That's too bad. There we go for the Igweon fight. And 
Done and done. Nice time save. Carbe. Officially on their way now, Mr. Jeremy DoorDash Extraordinaire. Apparently they're done shopping now. Oh yeah, Dr. Odine, his neck circle fashion statement. That is so weird, yeah. I don't even, I can't even think of like a, a an IRL period of time where that was like... I mean, are we going back to, like, the Victorian age? When that was a thing, maybe? I'm thinking of Victorian women, maybe. But not that big, right? Like, not nearly as... as, uh, of a circumference, right? As Dr. Odine. I'm, I'm struggling to think of a, a period of time when that was even in fashion. Some kind of neck apparel like that. problem here is it doesn't like appear to update the app very much. Gotten every buffer so far here. This section should be identical every time on your movement. One screen I did a little bit extra though. What I mean by that, it was a screen I was buffering like up and right, and it was just an up screen, so I lost a little movement. Up like there, too. Um... Did not remember that one. Should've. I think we get an encounter here. This screen right here. Okay, I think that's perfect, actually. I think that is literally where you want that. First run, we've actually, I think, been on the step route like, quite nicely. Although, you know, the menu buffer is to catch up. It's time loss. <clears throat> I don't love that, but that's definitely worth it to me. <clears throat> Ugh, hate that screen. That's not Twitch out there. I run six minutes of ads an hour, sir. That is your lack of a sub. Definitely worth being subbed around here, no doubt.
No, no. You only need three an hour to get rid of pre-rolls. I think you misunderstand. I run six minutes of ads an hour. That is what I run and pretty much always have. I'm a man who knows his content is worth it. And if you're not willing to spend $4.99 a month, you will support the channel by watching ads. And I have zero problem with that. As in my opinion, I stream 29 days a month, 200 to 220 hours a week, or a month. You know, it's uh, well worth the $4.99. But there are certainly ways to support the channel if you don't, like uh, watching ads, totally. Oh, they're completing another order on the way. Jeremy, Dora Dasher extraordinaire, very busy. Hmm. But I want my order first. This isn't fair. Mr. Efficient, apparently. Well, we'll see how efficient Jeremy is, yeah. We're gonna see here, we're gonna see. Saver Roth. Yeah, well, come on in. Hope you're having a great Sunday. Yeah, this is the end of disc one right here. And a really good ATB to prevent a turn from Cypher would be what we would love. Not really good, but good enough. Good enough. All about Irvine and Squall here. Minus Squall, good ATBs, our best friend. to do this to make sure Irvine got his attack in. <clears throat> okay. Nice 30 second time save. Rock and roll. And there you have it, guys. End of disc one. Nearly sub 250 did. That's a nice run. Nice disc one. Longest of the, of the game. Laguna Dreamtime. Hmm. I think I'm gonna be in like... Where am I gonna be here when this guy potentially arrives? I think I'm gonna be in prison. 
Which isn't a great spot, you know, because there's not a lot of... Uh, there are cutscenes, but you're doing a lot of running in there. Or if he arrives in those parts, it'll be time loss. Oh, I didn't get the encounter yet! Am I gonna get it running in? And this means I'm on the step route now. Oh, good! Very nice, very nice. So we are gonna get it running to the bridge, and I remember Zaiden gets it right as he starts to walk over the wood on the bridge. And I, last time I got it, I got it running into the bar here, and uh, we made up a big amount of movement today. Go us. Go us. That's awesome. Good to see you. Auto attack item. Boom, boom. Okay, you get carb. And let's go. Where's it gonna be? All right. So behind, but not a lot behind. I mean, I don't even know if that's considered behind, really. But slightly behind where Zai gets. So, like, he gets it right here. Like, right after this cutscene. So I wonder if I want to do a menu buffer, too, just to try to get perfectly on... on the step route again. I think I do. I think I do. Got it in the screen, right there! Or, okay, I'm ahead now. <laughs> Alright, that was that was too many menu buffers. We're quite ahead, which is good. Now we can, now we can uh, be a little loosey-goosey, okay. <laughs> That's interesting how much that made up. That made up a ton. Zai got that at the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. Well, 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 we're ahead of the step route at the moment. Never thought I'd be saying that in hour three. And it's nice that I just know that with confidence now, that, that, that it is correct. You know, we, we've got the step route down now through hour four or five, at least hour four and five, I think. But these, these screens right here are the last ones I need to kind of hammer out. That one right here, and this one I think is upright, instead of straight up. And there's an encounter in here that should be by, like, the cross on that church building on the front of it. I'm thinking I'm gonna get it right around there. But I'm so far ahead, it might be farther. Yeah. Nice. So that's perfect. That is perfect. I'm excited to see how this leaves our missile base, potentially. These are still live on steps, these these screens here. 
Felt like that was good. I have noticed exiting up to, to Laguna's house, I've been losing some movement, so we want to be nice and tight on that. Good, nice movement out of there. Okay, I think that's about as good as you can possibly do that. And a really nicely executed Laguna Dream 3, I think. Where I'm still looking perfect on the route. Nice. Oh, he's almost here, chat. Alright, we're about to lose time coming up here. However long it takes to get this 12-pack of beer from the DoorDasher for the first time. Now, this could be perfect. This is a bunch of cutscenes after I talk to Renoa. Right? This might be actually really remarkably uh, poetic timing. He's like two minutes away right now, and I think I'm going to be in this cutscene. Once I've talked to Renoa. Oh. Unfortunately, they don't know how to get to my house. Fuck you. God damn it. They're going the wrong way. You have to get to my house in a very weird way. And I can tell they're about to get totally lost and now be about ten more minutes. Alright, awesome. I'd love to see that. This is going to work out perfect. No, it's not. We have a max line that runs on my main street. You literally can't cross the street, and they're trying to, in a car. Every door dasher gets fucked up trying to come to my house. Yep, I completely went the wrong way. Lovely. Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy. <laughs> now they're going two blocks in the other direction, and then they're going to have to turn around and do a U-turn. Yep, yep, I'm seeing the whole new route now. Oh, you were supposed to be here in this squall cutscene, Jeremy. You were so close to being good. Now he's got two lights to go through instead of being here. Right, so where is this going to mean he's going to arrive at? Probably now going to arrive when I'm literally running around. Probably the, the circle. So we'll lose whatever we lose here to Jeremy. Yeah, this was a total uh, re misroute here. It's not necessarily his fault, but. Google cannot figure out how to get to my, my house.
Oh, Jeremy. He's just sitting at a light. Now he's coming. The problem is, if this is spamming turbo when the Moogle comes in, I'm fucked, right? You gotta pick the right option. That's my concern. Or I'm gonna have to run around floor four and five, right? Okay, I mean, he's here. I'm gonna go do this, chat. And be as quick as I can. BRB. We'll see. I better not lose my Moogle turnoffs. Oh, I'm out of breath. I ran out, I met him at his truck. <laughs> and I didn't lose a second yet. Whew, 77 seconds. He was pretty quick. I made him, like, snap that photo very quickly. Oh, and we have beer. Oh, cheers. Let's get the party started, baby. Yo, Kiteman, thank you, sir, for that super kind five pack of subbies. Dale I H R Bing, Eric, the Restia Savage Heart, enjoy your ad free viewing. Oh, and Bell Lee, time. Five gift subbies. Two Cock, nice name, Two Cock. H Jinx San Yon, I'm still out of breath here. I am still out of breath. I got a subby on it. You guys rock. Come, come. We got a hype train about to pop off. And cheers. Let's do one chug for both of you. Does that sound fair? I think that sounds fair. And cunning linguist, enjoy your ad-free viewing. Courtesy of P-Town. Oh, I got to catch my breath first, though. Like, literally, I'm still out of breath. <laughs> I sprinted up the stairs, out, down the stairs, and back. Uh, why does it think I did two subs? I didn't. Whew. All right. Thank you, Kiteman. Thank you, Ambel Lee. If you guys got a lucky sub, enjoy your month of ad-free content. Cheers to a good Sunday. Hope you guys are having fun. There we go. Part one of Z Chug. Done. Well, now that everything is right with the world, <clears throat> I can actually settle in. <sighs> oh man. Forgot to split my Laguna Dream 3, huh? Zell for Squall, Irvine for Quistus. Do a little, uh, little of this, a little of that. A little cheers to Kiteman and Ambel Lee. Second part of the Miller Latte right here. Zell for Squall, Irvine for Quistus. Okay. Let's coddle. You are getting nada. Carbuncle. 
you are HP Junction, Diablos. I think you need three uh, people to trigger a hype train. The broadcaster does not count. <clears throat> so no choo-choo. Chug chug though. Very chug chug. I think that menu was correct. We got Biggs and Wedge coming up after this fight. Just need another another lovely Petonian to hop on board. Oh, hence the question mark. Yeah. Here you go. Let's polish off the chug. Yo, Fearith Alfard, thank you for the hundred biddies, my friend. That'll do it. That'll pop off a hype train. <clears throat> and if you guys do enjoy supporting your favorite content creator, 8Runner, who's going to be uh, learning Hundo next week, by the way. FF8 Hundo. <clears throat> All aboard the level 2 hype train. Oh, I feel all like I all excited running on adrenaline. I was so like nervous about losing time. We got a great run going. I didn't want to lose a minute, you know. I would have lost 77 seconds apparently. <laughs> I did it. Now I'm all just like agitated and I need to get back into that vibe, you know, that comfy 8 vibe that we know and that we love. <clears throat> that is what I need. And I think a chug will do it. Here, we gotta polish it off. If that doesn't do it, I don't know what will, but another one! Twistus, you're targeting uh, the blue soldier wedge. Zell, the red one. <clears throat> Very good ATB on Twistus. You should uh, take him out. Hopefully. And didn't kill, so Twistus will need to clean up the act here. Nice time save on Biggs and Wedge, though. <clears throat> Something's better than nothing. And now we see if we're really on the step route, like we thought we were. Like we thought we were. Hey, Mr. Goodman, how are you? Thanks a lot for the four month of subbies. You finally finished the new FF7 Rebirth. And you can return to Twitch spoiler-free. I hope it's been going well. It has, man. It has. Learned FF8. Trying to do our third finished run tonight. Always a pleasure to see you in the house. And uh, glad to hear you finished Rebirth. I'm almost done myself. <clears throat> and this should have been toward the end of Floor 9. So, we're on the right floor, though. It's just a little behind. And that's the best I've ever been. Back attack, so it's going to be an insanely long flea. Yep. But uh, good to see you back, Mr. Goodman. Oh, shit. And thank you for the gift subby to Spoiler Free Games. That is super kind of you. Bring spoiler Free Games, enjoy the 41st gift subby from Mr. Goodman. I got some good news for you, Goodman. We um, have a very a firm rule around here. From day one, we ban anyone who dares to spoil a rebirth. Like we are we are vengeful with it. And so you're in a very, very safe space here. And uh, in the time since Rebirth has come out, we have not had a single spoiler in this channel. So I think you're, I think you're safe. And you finished, so you know, obviously you're good. But 
we actually have been very, very good with our, uh, our lack, I feel, of spoilers. Well, I'm really trying to get back on the route, just for fun, almost, to see if I can just finish on the step route today. Because I've never been close to that, and we're, we're hanging in there now. You definitely as have appreciated. Yeah, I mean me too. I, yeah, myself. I don't want spoilers. <clears throat> you're allowed to say where you are in it, how you're liking it. That's kind of the most weird, you know. That's as far as we get here. I think it'll be a game of the year, too. Hard to predict what else might come out, but... It will, it will surprise me if that game... You know, doesn't doesn't win uh, game of the year. Especially since this is kind of uh, supposed to be a, a downer year. You know, generally for new game releases, right? The Switch is uh, kind of undergoing a new uh, a new update, right? A new Switch will be released, so we're not expecting any big Nintendo titles. And uh, I really don't think there's going to be a whole lot of competition for Rebirth, you know, for Game of the Year from what I've seen. What do you guys think? Any other games so far? We're already four months into the year. Almost five. Any other games that might contend? Because I can't think of a single one that would be in the running for Rebirth. We've had Dragon's Dogma, Tekken 8, Rebirth. Yeah, very, very light year. Last year, though, was like a... I mean, last year was one of the best years of all time in terms of game releases. Does Elden Ring DLC count? No. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, now is where I'm going to lose the step route, probably. Which might mean it was kind of a silly thing to kind of stay on it. Rizel buffering here, I could never do well. And I bet I lose a lot of movement. Helldivers, maybe, Zormats. I I've seen a lot of good stuff about Helldivers. Totally true. Totally true. Yeah. You can see there, Zell definitely was not perfect, but we'll take it. Rebirth is game of the year, or you will cast a 10,000 needles on the judges. Oh. FF7 all day, Trey. Yeah. Helldivers was a worthy, uh, worthy recommendation. I think from what I've heard of it, it probably is the, the second biggest game of the year. And, and second best so far. And uh, Choo Choo, guys, thank you so much for the hype train. You guys rock. I appreciate you. <clears throat> Hellblade 2 is coming. Hades 2 could take game of the year. So there are some other expected big releases that are coming out. Okay. I didn't know there's a whole lot that we were even expecting through the second half of the year. Pal World. <laughs> I mean, I bet you Pal World wins quite a few awards, maybe, but... I mean, isn't it the most played game of the year? Had higher... Ha higher... Uh, higher player count than Fortnite, right? For a while there. I have no idea how Pal World's still doing. My, uh, I'm looking out, of course, for Visions of Mana for my indie game of the year. And we're going to play that live on stream when it comes out. And um, I'm, I'm very excited for it. Renoa, Squall, and Quistus. Okay. Uh, Zell for Quistus. Renoa for Zell. All the way to the tippity top of the mountaintop. Oh, 
on trail is now the big one for you. <clears throat> Visions of Mana. I mean, I mean, I consider it an indie game. You don't. You don't. I mean, it's a smaller budget game, right? I mean, it's it's like a ret it's a ret you know retro inspired. I mean, RPG, right? I, I don't know. I mean, it's like yeah, Square Enix, like retro. I, I don't know. I, maybe that's calling it the wrong thing. Maybe I, maybe I am calling it the wrong thing. You make a good point. But I guess I mean it's just not a triple A title, right? Like it's not going to be a you know rebirth. You can't consider it and rebirth in the same category, right? So it it'll be you know it'll have its it'll be up for indie. I, well, I don't know. That's just an interesting question. So for example. What kind of category would Visions of Mana be competing in? Is an interesting question then, you know? Or or is it literally a big enough title that it would be it would have to be game of the year to to even like warrant an award? You know what I mean? Like cuz it just doesn't have the budget of a uh, you know, of a uh, of a of a rebirth. It can't contend, really. Indie wise neon, you got high hopes for Demon School due out in quarter two. It's not indie. Probably got game of the year, gotcha, okay. Yeah, well I'm, I think you guys are right. I'm calling it the wrong thing. You're you're totally you're right. I shouldn't be calling it indie. I don't know why I'm saying that. Pretty good movement, not not perfect, but I'll call it pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. <clears throat> it kind of is, but Square Enix can't make indie games. I mean, yeah. I guess that's where I have a problem with it. Like, if you were going, let's say it's a great game, right? And it's 10 out of 10. It wouldn't matter, because it wouldn't win Game of the Year, because it can't it can't compete with Rebirth, no matter what, budget-wise. And it's, if it's not considered indie, what kind of award would it ever win, you know? That's kind of what I wonder to myself. Um, where's my puppy cannon? Jeez. <laughs> that was a heck of a uh, find there. None because it's RPG, and Rebirth wins that as well. Yeah, best RPG. Yeah. Well, bad puppy. It took you a long time to find you, but hold on. I will allow it. I will allow it. This is your favorite part. Oh, brachiating, yes. Well, I think we're behind at this point, but you know, it's all good. This encounter should have been in prison. And I nearly made it today. I nearly made it today. Very close. This, I think this screen is like the last live screen before prison, right? Like, maybe that, this one here, maybe, I don't even know. But once this FMV starts, you can't get encounters. So that means I was a half a screen from prison, or from the missile base, and still being on the step route, which is really good work. That's so much better than we've ever been. That's like two floors of the prison better. So go us. And I know I am behind, you know, my, my prison movement, not great. Like, it's good, but it's not great, and I'm losing quite a bit there. I would literally need Zaiden to, like, coach me on the movement to even get it good enough to get through it. 
Because, like, when you're buffering Zell's fleeing, that is so weird there. And, like, when you're... When you're trying to, to you know, dodge around the stairs for floor, like, 9, 10, 11, 12... It's just so easy to lose a bunch of movement there. And, uh... It's a very tough section. I'm break eating. I'm break eating. I'm break eating. Breakation over. All right. Mm-hmm. Very successful breakation. Are you guys ready to try to win a gift sub? Here you go. This is the sound of 150 gummy multivitamins. Is it strawberry, lemon, or orange? First one in chat, go. Okay, it already poured out. Nope, it is orange. Yeah, done. Fucked up, Zayden. Nice try. Good try, though. And so Zaiden wins the power of now having to gift a sub. I kid, I kid. Boy, that would be a great scam. If you get it wrong, you gift a sub. <laughs> well, we're gonna try to not blow up the garden today. Irvine, Squall, Zell. Selfie for Quistus, Quistus for Renoa. Okay. Hmm. Second selection. And time to get jiggy with it. In the missile base. Cue up the sinfully sexy. No buo soundtrack. I wonder what he was doing when he wrote this one. I wonder what kind of mindset he was in. <laughs> Such bow chicka wow wow music. Well, I'm going to bust out a charcuterie board of pretzels, turkey, carrots, and egg slices today. You guys would like to feed your lovely stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Dickie. What do you got? Egg, slice, carrot, turkey. Pretzel. Pick your poison, sir. And cheers. A little turkey. All right, you got it. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, sir. Well, we had two five-pack of subs from Ambel Lee and Kiteman, but I turned off subs for Chugs. I suppose now that I have ammunition, I can turn it back on, huh? I suppose I could. 
And there it is, back on. Another section where, you know, perfect movement is really required. This, this section should be very streamlined, almost identical from one run to the next. You know, maybe other than your BGH fight, maybe a little bit on your soldier fight. That's about it. Da -na -na -na. Just about vibe into the music. That's all we're doing here. Hey, you doing lamp? This song feels like it should be in a city builder. That's funny. I was thinking other things, but yeah, that too. goes an egg slice. You know what I always think though? I need, uh, I really need salt and pepper with an egg slice. Doesn't do it justice without it. My movement is gotten very good. It's gotten very good. Not to brag or anything, but I kind of rock. At least compared to how I used to be. <laughs> My movement used to be atrocious, and I would think it was really good, and I, I found out, you know, later on it was terrible. But that's mainly because FF8 has super unintuitive movement. You know what, Kiteman? This run doesn't rock. Thanks again for the five subs. for a pretzel. Someone feed me. Go. Go, go. I need a pretzel. To, to wash down the beer. Thank you. Thank you, Dickie. Thank you, Amber Lee. All right. That was getting risky. I really needed that. And these are the... What do you call those, like, thin pretzels that are, like, wide? Um, pretzel thin? No, pretzel snacks? No. You know how, like, a year ago or two, they came out with, like, cool pretzels, like deli pretzels that are like a little different. They're super thin and like wide and like they're still shaped like a pretzel but they're really thin. And there's a brand name of these that they have in here in this charcuterie board. Pretzel something, I forget. No Renoa. Took out one of the guys first. Excellent day. I'll get one turn. Not too bad. What is my expected date to run the FF8 Hundo? I mean, I don't have an expected date, Kush. I'm planning on learning it on Monday. That's really all I'm, I can tell you. I'll run it when I'm ready to run it. 
Yeah. But, you know, we're going to kick off the learning on, uh, on Monday. You know, I've never looked at Hundo. I've watched a couple of them. But if you asked me, like, you know, how long do I think it'll take, I, I don't have any idea. I have no idea how hard the run might be. So, you know, we're all going to kind of find out together, right? <clears throat> and that'll be half the fun of it. Alrighty, chat, we are out of here. Super nice uh, missile base so far. I'm really at that point in the run where I don't even think about this section. I do not need notes. I just vibe. That's what you got to be doing. <clears throat> da -na 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 -na. Pretty sure this is a buffer left here, right? Never mind. Never mind. Forget everything I said. All about the Adea password, E D E A. I would like to not blow up the missile base and kill the run today. So I would definitely want to maximize our error ratio. So what we're doing next, I have forgotten this twice, and yes, I have blown up the garden twice and killed the run. Becoming a very professional killer these days. Town fact, apparently you can stop this one bar shy of max. Like, notice where the max arrow is? We're not going to go that far. Major time save, right? One second optimization, but hey, we're speedrunning. We'll take it, we'll take it. Ready for BGH. I think this should have been in the next section, but at this point, I don't think we're really caring that much. Like, way better than we've ever been any run here. So I'm pretty happy with uh, how it's going. But I do need to figure out where I'm losing that little bit of movement still to get the step route in there perfect. I have to fix a little bit more. A little bit more. Alright, Luca. Take care. And thanks for hanging out. I'm really excited for Sea of Stars. I, I hope you guys are too. We're going to be doing a, uh, a debut of the new speedrunning relic tomorrow. And we're going to do the first ever full Sea of Stars run with the Relic. Now, FYI, it's not going to be submittable. <clears throat> that has nothing to do with the fact that um, it's like, you know, a, a valid run or not. I I'm a moderator for Sea of Stars. 
Uh, it's just that we're not allowing runs to be submitted until we've like until the the relic is out of beta, as it's still a, a, in a beta you know state right now. So we're gonna do a run. We're gonna find out how much time it might save, and that'll kind of give us some good info for when we want to do an official run once it's you know a, an official relic that we can speed run uh, with. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow too. Nice first turn out of selfie. Hey, Sir Nyquil, how you doing? Very good to see you, my friend. Hope you're having a lovely... Hey, lovely Sunday, Mr. Seelan. How are you? Just wanted to make sure selfie didn't die here. But thank you for the three gift subs. See what you brought. And that should be the win. Uh huh. Ultra waves. Yep. Mavine Faith. Wet the fuck. Nice. Enjoy your ad free viewing, guys, courtesy of Seelan. Who is excited about the upcoming FF8 Hundo. Me too, man. Me too. Me too. And then we're going to be learning Final Fantasy XII after that. There's your BGH fight. A little bit of time loss. I always lose time there. That time loss might simply be because that encounter was in this section. And, you know, not just in a later section where it probably would normally be for me. So you could consider that. I love how I'm your favorite ASMR streamer. <clears throat> Next year at the um, at the streamy the streamer of the year awards, I hope I'm up for uh, for nomination. Best ASMR streamer, P Town Rocks. for Selfie, Quistus for Irvine. Squall for Selfie, Quistus for Irvine. Rock and roll it. Have a look on HP. Uh, you know what? Just want to be a little safe through here. Make sure that uh, everything looks Gucci. All right, garden time. Oil boil time, Norg time. I got a minute and 30 time save on oil boils. So let's have a perfect section, huh? Lost a couple seconds standing still there. Let's have a perfect section after that, shall we? Thanks for the streak, Torelli. Appreciate you. Love this music, man. This is one of my favorite tracks. How it really takes off right there. And thank God it does, because this section is not particularly intriguing from a speedrun standpoint. <clears throat> really very little we're doing here. You know, it's kind of an epic section. It's intense in terms of the music and the tone, but it's not a rigorous speedrunning section. It's nothing but routing. Picking the right options, all that fun stuff.
Enter one text box and then immediately exit to the library. <clears throat> Normally I get a fight running to the library. Uh, we're gonna probably be a little better off today. Let's see where we get this fight. Wow, not even to the library. I got it right there yesterday. So I'm gonna take a, uh, take on the epic rat fight. Tira's favorite enemy here. Hopefully Zell is not first ATB turn. Good. <clears throat> Just killed him, barely. Rats card. Thank God. Really needed that. This NPC is identified as the Piggy Tail Girl. Well, Pigtail Girl. Well, she has kind of a long pigtail. Yeah. I see it. I see it. Fair. Fair. Fair assessment. So this is where I got it today. I wonder where it should have been. Hey, Zaiden, are you here? Do you, do you do know where this should be? Or I can look, but uh, I figure you know off the top of your head. Where should this have been? Out of uh, curiosity here. Well, I can look at Zaiden's video here left side of main hall. So like here? Like right here. So I'm not that far behind, huh? Interesting. That's pretty good then. This is way better than I've ever been before. Like running in or running out? I kind of want to know so I can memorize it for the next run try to get it. Running into the infirmary or running out of it? Which way? <clears throat> or running back to zoo. Probably running back to zoo, right? Really, running in? Oh, so I'm actually not that bad at all. Huh. I'm not bad at all, then. Wow. If I can clean up my missile-based circles, I bet you I am ready to run the step rail perfectly, then, huh? I bet I am. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. It's just that now. It's literally all it is. Getting getting that dialed in. And I think I'm there. It's been fun just kind of improving it literally with no practice. Just one run at a time. Just... Just improving through... Repetition. It's been a lot of fun. Hey, Halo. How you doing? Well, the runs are going great, honestly. Can't can't hope for much more today. And a very good day of eight running. And we should be eight minutes ahead of pace on the oil boil fight. Do we save chat? I've been saving for the oil boil, but I'm almost on the step route today. I kind of wonder if I don't, and I risk I risk the death. You know what I mean? One run, we got cursed on Irvine by the oil boil, and it killed the run. And uh, since then, I've decided I need to save. But I wonder today if we just be bold, and we just go for it. I mean, it. I had never saved until that run, and you know, it had never been an issue. It just happened to be that run was so good, and it felt so bad to die that we decided we had to start saving. 
until we got this PB in there. You know, certainly not something I would do after we got this PB, but today I could consider still saving, for sure. You know, I get a minute and a half time save saving, and, uh, and even with that, so... When we cut that out, then it's like a minute 40, and you get even more out of it. By the way, I've been saying we're starting uh, Learning Hundo on Monday. That's not true. I'm, I'm doing Sea of Stars tomorrow. We're starting Hundo the day after that. Hey, Snow Leopard. Very happy Sunday to you, my friend. How are you? Hope you and the missus are having a great one. There goes a pretzel for you. Disappointed in your boy Colin, huh? Colin. Oh, Colin Ma... He's the... Marikawa? What's his name? You're talking about the Asian guy who, uh, he did he not win today? And did Chef Lee win? I think it was Chef Lee, right? I saw on the 11th hole he was up by two. Scheffler. Scheffler, yeah. It's like, who is that who won it last year? Is that John Rom? I think that's John Rom, right? Scheffler won by four. Yeah, from John Rom, yeah. I like that tradition how the prior winner puts the jacket on the, the current champion passing the torch. That's a cool thing that the Masters does. I like that. Really, Scheffler won two years ago, so back not back to back, but two out of three. That's pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive. Two text boxes, option two. We're out of here. Oh, come on, game. <laughs> Some of these ladders are uh, quite maddening. Da -da -da -da. Well, we gotta wait for our bro. Get on in here, Zell. You were hoping Homa could finally get a major, but it was not meant to be. Yeah. I'm mashing, I'm mashing, I'm mashing. My little finger is off. And done. All right. Jeez. I've been told you can do that with just squall, but you have to run a turbo for square, uh, your switch button, and I don't have that yet. I, I will set that up probably eventually, but I, I'm not in any hurry. <laughs> That's kind of a silly thing to rig a turbo up for, but, you know, that would save probably 15 to 20 seconds, right? And uh, I certainly could. You can do it without turbo? Oh man, I can't. <laughs> Maybe you can, but I can't. That's interesting, you can do it without turbo though. I wouldn't have considered that humanly possible. Okay. <clears throat> how, how quickly does turbo get it? Does it get it at the very last second? Or does it get it pretty quickly? Like, what second does it end on? I'm just curious. So you gotta do 100 inputs in 7 seconds, huh? Huh. I don't know how many I'm close to. There. No idea. Certainly not close to 100. I mean, what do you think, Bear? Do you want to save? I mean, you guys can convince me either way. Do you guys want to save or not? <clears throat> I have not made up my mind yet. If I'm saving. 
You got a tier two sub badge, Bear. You get a say on it, sir. More so than tier ones do. What do you want to do? What does Bear say? Up and writing confirmed. Worked yesterday, I think. Yep, perfect. You want to see space? So you would like me to save. Okay. I will save. I will save. That's what a tier two sub gets you around here. Six minutes in the green. It'll be a shame. Save. Yeah. I think I agree. I think I agree. We'll save. And this is the save, right? Yeah. Ah, fuck. <clears throat> okay, oil boil time. You can see the, the step loss there. It's quite a bit, really. Uh, I'm just making sure we're good, and we're, we're good here. There we go. Let's see. Let's see what happens. If we do PB today, though, that'll be the last time you ever see me say before the oil boil fight. Shotgun ammo by four out of Irvine. Well, so much for that. <laughs> Two, three, and we're done. Okay. Very nice. Almost a two-minute time save. We will save two minutes when we're not. We will, you know, pull back two minutes when we don't save. Nice. And we'll re-gold that for sure. Also, like, you know, we could try to get that uh, turn, the, 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 you know, the turn style in, in the first squall attempt for another 20 seconds. There might be 40 more seconds of time save there. Kind of an interesting little food for thought, you know? <clears throat> yeah, very GG. I hear you. Very GG. I remember when my oil boils were quite a bit above the four four hour mark. And now we're way under it, right? And probably should be about 352 on a better run, 351. Something like that. So I'm just so happy with how the run's improving every time. Like every run. You know, it may not finish, but the improvement is so evident, and I've been enjoying that. I've had to hang my head on something <laughs> since <laughs> we haven't finished a run in a minute, but, you know, that, that is at least nice to see. You know, this is by far our best run through Hour 4. Travis Kelsey chugs a beer after getting his diploma at Cincinnati today. Oh. Apparently, Travis Kelsey steals the show at the Cincinnati graduation ceremony as he impressively chugs a beer. I love how they describe that as impressively... <laughs> impressively... Ch I wonder what would see this man... What does an impressive beer chug look like? I would like to see this. <laughs> Here we go. Show me the definition of an impressive beer chug. All right, I'm watching. He's on the podium. He's chugging, chugging. Yeah, he just straight back. Oh, he's literally like six inches above the mouth. Okay, you know what? That's impressive. Oh, it's pouring down his face. It's pouring out of both sides of his mouth. And then he smashes the bottle on the ground and there's beer left in it. <laughs> oh, that's too good. That is too good. That is too good. <laughs> The best part is, the beer is like eight inches above his face, right? And he's just letting it pour into his open mouth. And then just smashes it on the, on the ground as the foam comes pouring out of it, you know? It was an impressive beer chug. They did not lie. That was good. Hey, Greg, how you doing? 
Yeah, we were just witnessing Travis Kelsey chug a beer at the Cincinnati Diploma Ceremony. Sunday, you and everyone hanging out tonight. Perfect timing, dinner's up. What do you got on the menu tonight? I mean, I know I'll see what you have on the menu, but make me hungry, sir. Da -da 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 -da. We got steak, mushrooms, probably same as last night, probably, I'm gonna guess. Okay, well, that was really weird actually, not getting around there, tried to cut it too tight. A little salmon with roasted broccoli. Red bell peppers, Caesar salad, and a side of mussels. Man, you really spoil your wife, Leopard. They are a lucky woman. More power to you. You're you're working overtime to make sure <laughs> to make sure you you're locking that one down for all time, and I, I love that. She is never getting away on your watch. <laughs> Trying to angle for the the caviar and the faux gras now. You better watch out. Sounds like she had she's got the edge on you there. How are you? Very happy Sunday, my friend. How you doing? I hate this. I always think the game is crashing. How many of you just thought the game crashed? I bet I'm not the only one. Like, I, 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 I'm afraid, I fear for my run every time that happens. But that's how it, that's how it occurs. Just a very weird, like cutoff of that that FMV and the music. It's the music cutting off that makes me so like, whoa, what happened here? Raise his hand. Yeah, me too. Is that a nine month Seph? Oh, is that nine month or is that that might be 18, right? Then is the Sephiroth uh, sword, Masamune. Or the. 
I mean, it's obviously from Chrono Trigger, but that is the FF7 Sephiroth sword, yeah. The older you get, the more you enjoy gardening. Spent four hours today, almost forgot to tune into the Masters. Boy, Jim Nance in your ear while you're gardening, I can't think of a better Sunday. <laughs> yeah, you did fuck up there. I love Jim Nance. Jim Nance is my favorite broadcaster. My favorite commentator of, of, of all time. He has the most soothing voice ever. And he's just so good at what he does. And he's just, oh dude, he's, he's just, he's Jim Nance, man. He's just great. That's all, all you gotta say. He's Jim fucking Nance. Hey, Halo, thanks for the prime. Appreciate you. He's just the, the best golfer and, uh, golf and, uh, I mean, he's very good at football, too. I like him and Tony Romo. <clears throat> they make a good team. Holy cow, Halo. You worked 80 hours this week. Are you a... Are you a tax preparer? I would have to imagine you're you're an accountant. I bet you're very happy to be done today. <laughs> if that's the case. No, oh, 40. Oh, school teacher, gotcha. 40 at school district and 40 scorekeeping, gotcha. Oh, I see, I see. A little school district job, a little scorekeeping job, gotcha. Sounds like you deserve a nice bedge, though. Do uh, do you have a great uh, couple days off? You deserve it, I hope. I mean, kind of power. I remember how surprised I was that people were talking about Mahomes as the new goat as soon as he won that Super Bowl. I found that really surprising, right? Only two Super Bowls. Brady has six or seven. I forget. You know, he's so young, he's not even close to the career numbers. But as soon as he won, people were, were like, immediately starting the conversation, the, the GOAT. You know? And I think that's fair. But I feel it's a little preemptive. You know, you never know when a guy takes an injury, you just can't predict that. Not in crit. Interesting. Alrighty, here we go. How many? Five, two, three, four. No more. Nord. Nice crit at the end there.
Pretty nice fight. Pretty standard Norg fight. Yeah, let's not forget about Robert Griffin III. Yeah. Okay, this is where I don't want any elevator shenanigans. Very important to me here. I, I've been making routing errors around this elevator too often. So we go to the uh, infirmary first. I don't know if I make them here, but at some point, uh, either here or later on, I lose like up to 30 seconds simply on elevator shit. But it shouldn't be acceptable at this point. Return to the main lobby, visit the balcony on the second floor. So yeah, this would be like one of the first opportunities to make an elevator routing mistake. <clears throat> As you haven't really had options in the elevator until now. Who was the greatest quarterback that never was? The greatest quarterback that never was, huh? I'm probably not a great person for that conversation. As I'm an NFL fan, but I'm not a super loremeister. Well, Marino was. He just never won a Super Bowl. They're talking about people whose career was cut short. Marino had a long career, right? Hey, Dizzle. How you doing? Just got through Cosmo Canyon. Love what they did with it. Nice, dude. I, I'm about to finish my playthrough. Probably tonight. Time to go get a loan. First option. Does anyone else enjoy the skin on salmon? Oh, hell no. I'm confused, though. Are you telling me that some people do? Wait, you do? Yeah, you psycho you. Are you kidding me? Skin on a salmon. Chat. Discuss. Go. Lunacy? Or... Actually, actually acceptable. Can of moose, you used to eat the skin on salmon? Skin on is entirely necessary? Ramza, I thought you were on my team. This is betrayal of the highest order. It's a no from me, dog, but I've heard lots of people do it. Yeah, I've never even heard of it, really. I... What is the benefit? Is it very nutritious? Does it, does it sear and make the salmon crispy? 
And it has a lot of flavor and is quite nutritious. Huh. Hmm. I mean, maybe I'm the one, maybe I'm the one in the wrong here. Maybe I need to be eating my salmon with the skin on. I just never, never considered it. Also, the fins on a trout when crispy. Another thing I've never tried. Hmm. Very intriguing. I am, I kind of am ambly. I wouldn't say I'm the most adventurous eater, but I, I do like to try new stuff. Is that right, Mate? You used to work as a line cook and you, you would grill the trout with the skin. You see, trout is maybe a little different even than salmon. I mean, trout is considered an inferior fish to a salmon. I wonder if that affects the decision to leave the skin on. Inferior, not in a bad way, but, I mean, salmon is your, like, S-tier fish, right? Option two for Zell. Check it out. We're going to be learning all about this guy. When we learn Hundo, this is the Master Fisherman. Oh, I never noticed the fish jumping out of the ocean. That's so cool. Speaking of fishies. I think this guy has a magazine for us. He's got a Timber Maniac or a, you know, a, a weapon magazine or something, combat ma- I forget what they are even in, in Hundo. We're going to have to learn all of this. But we're going to get to know our Master Fisherman. This is a fun section. We do the... Do the Fisherman's Horizon, we get to run into, do the concert. Do our epic concert choices. The sax, the guitar, the piano, the bass. And we remember to go to the Fisherman's Horizon second floor here. <clears throat> Good. No routing mistakes so far. Oh, my bad. Wrong movement there. I think Sid's already got one foot out the door. He's already thinking about a day of... And a nice comfy bed on the beach. If you know what I mean.
I really like this guy's apparel. Looks like Hugo Boss. Maybe Calvin Klein. Maybe Ralph Lauren. Very fashionable. Very fashionable. Hi, hi, Lady V. How are you? Hope you're having a lovely Sunday. Glad you made it in tonight. Right into up, into right, into up. And remember our buffer. town likes a fancy brand well I mean back in the day I did yeah I was I, I was quite a fashionista when I was at game day media definitely took pride in my wardrobe not as much anymore But I mean, I've yeah, I've uh, have I have had times in my life where I definitely definitely spent a large amount of income on fashion. Whenever I had the money to spend on it, I, I, I definitely definitely did. Have I bought four hundred dollar shoes? Yes. <laughs> have I bought five hundred dollar peacoats? Yes. Would I ever do that now? Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no. You know, have I spent a couple thousand dollars at Nordy's? Sure. Would I do that today? Fuck no. This screen might be straight up. I need to look into that. As we have our second BGH fight. Let's see what's going on on Discord tonight, huh? What are you guys up to? I see Snow Leopard's food porn, looking porn horrific as always. God damn, that's a color. That has even a colorful looking meal. I like the color palette of it too. Damn. I would pay you sixty dollars at a nice restaurant for that meal. More power to you. Yes, I triggered. That was your one tri unnecessary trigger of the day. Enjoy. You tend to discount shop when buying clothes, except for socks. I, I definitely spend money on clothing. <clears throat> But I do it on very specific things, like jeans, uh, good shoes, and uh, t-shirts that I know fit me the right way. 
big fan of t-shirts that fit. Can't stand ones that don't. Like, it has to fit me perfect, or I'm really unhappy. I'm very, very... Every girlfriend I've ever had has detested shopping for P-Town. They literally hate it. Oh, wow, wow a minute time save. Holy shit. Uh, where did that come from? That was a good garden routing, I think, is what that was. But, um, yeah, every girlfriend I've ever had has... I've, I've told them off the bat when we date, no matter what you do, if you're going to buy me a present, never buy me clothing. And you know what they all do? They immediately buy me clothing thinking that I'm wrong. And you know what I do? I return it. I don't know how they can't get the memo. <laughs> I am just so particular with my clothing. If it doesn't fit absolutely perfect, I will not wear it. And so girlfriends have gotten me things very often, and then they'll n I'll never wear it, right? And then, you know, they'll get embarrassed, and they'll get self-conscious, and I literally tell them from the get-go, don't buy me clothes, and they can't help themselves. They literally cannot help themselves. But I, I do it for their own good. I'm like, I'm like, you're just gonna fail. I'm telling you now, don't even try. And yet, it's like women, it's like they can't help it. <laughs> Yeah, it's like he said don't, so he's test- I'm, I'm trying to do them such a favor, but I really am, though. Like, save your money, just save your emotions. It's more like, save your emotions, you know? Like, I don't want to- I don't want to traumatize you. Because I- I'm the weird one. I'm very, very picky. I'm very picky, and I know that about myself. You know, so it's not their fault. It's definitely my fault. Is that right, butter stuff? At least you're honest. Your wife wants me to buy her things, but she returns 75% of the things she gets. Huh. Oh, I kind of knew the buffer there today. Let's go. Kind of. <laughs> kind of, kind of, kind of. Oh, go enjoy that world of Warcraft. Nice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen in chat, do what I do when I have a significant other. Just give the man the money. Let them pick the outfit. Easier that way. I agree. I agree. I completely agree. You know that you know emotions could have been saved if only they, if only they would have listened to Lady V. I agree. gave you a hundred dollar bill to get her an outfit for a very nice dinner and you came back with lingerie and a garter trust yourself oh. man checkmate good job you won that one <laughs> Not only are you not going to the dinner, but you got a great night out of it. GG. I... well played, sir. Well played, sir.
We've been married for 15 years. We just tell each other what we want. But that's so adult. I mean, how could you possibly do that? That's like normal. Can you imagine communicating to your significant other? Kind of unheard of. But yet, in my opinion, probably the most important thing for a good relationship, good communication. Am I right or am I right, chat? <clears throat> in all seriousness, I think in my experience, which, uh, I mean, I've had a lot of relationships. I think the number one quality to a successful relationship is good communication. That's what I've found. Snow Leopard, totally different theory. They've found is just have good dinner ideas. <laughs> And, and it's a happy wife, happy life. You know, I, I, I love that. I love that. Communications number one. I thought so. I always thought so. Yeah, eat well, be well. Good motto to live by. Hey, forecast. That was incorrect, by the way. Uh, how do I change that? Try something else. You are the sax. Just holding turbo there. Now the electric guitar for Irvine. Piano for selfie. And bass for Quistus. Again, our second option for Renoa. And my favorite dress. Do you think it's normal for your legs to be like 60% of your body? I mean, is that, is that really anatomically correct? I mean, maybe it is. I don't know. I've never measured my legs. Nope, oh, wrong option. Shit. <whistles> Buffer up to Irvine. That was the wrong option, and that is, uh, I think, more time loss than I expected. Enjoy the show.
We'll be singing that later in space if we get there. Cheers to that. Little Fei Wong and P Town duet. Eyes on me in space. That's only like two hours, hour and a half away. Two, yeah, two hours away. Maybe yes, maybe no. Cheers to you guys. Appreciate you hanging out tonight. Maybe this runs the one, huh? Maybe it'll finish. <laughs> Gotten to the point where I'm very suspicious of any run finishing, but hey. You never know. It's been good so far. to do. Third floor, last option. Okay. Talking to Nida, our pilot, after all is said and done. Make an elevator <clears throat> routing mistake. More power to us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm here all night. I know I'm impressive. Would you like an egg, pretzel, turkey, or carrot? And I will chase it down with my Miller Latte. Thank you, sir. Boys in the party, squall for Irvine Rock and Roll. Welcome on in, everybody. We got a shout out for Yuna, guys. One of my lovely moderators around here. Hi, hi. How you doing? Appreciate you bringing the community around here tonight. You guys are doing ten, aren't you? I think you are. I know you are. Squall for Irvine. Well, you are uh, coming in from 10 to Final Fantasy VIII. We've done two runs so far. We're on our third. And you just passed the Thunder Plains. You totally did Guado Salam skip, right? Speed run style, I'm sure. Well, thanks a lot for the, the raid, Yuna. Hope you guys are having a great night. Get comfy, we got a uh, FF8 run for your viewing pleasure all night tonight. I am P-Town, we run Final Fantasy 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Chrono Trigger, Sea of Stars. In fact, we're running the uh, indie game of the year that we world recorded as Sea of Stars tomorrow for all you SOS fans. You better be slug jamming tomorrow, I'm the only one left in the world running Sea of Stars. So if you like them, come hang out for it, by the way. I'm I'm like I'm I'm like I'm literally advertising because <laughs> if I don't, no one should, no one even knows that there's runs of Sea of Stars. Gonna do this junction on Irvine. You are auto attack. Okay, Squall. 
Junction, that, that, uh, Diablos. Okay, auto attack, you get magic, draw, and item. You also get strength 60 and encounter half. One, two, three, four, five. Thanks for all the follows, guys. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bear with me, I know this seems silly. This is actually what we do. <laughs> Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And 16, and finally 17, to trigger the Fujin Ragin' boss fight that we have coming in next. Yes, that is actually the way you do that in the speedrun in FF8. <laughs> but thanks for bringing the community around here, Eunuch. Go get some dinner, enjoy yourself, and thanks a lot for the raid all. I have to throw one back next time I can. We're, uh, we're about three hours from a PB. That's the goal. Three, three hours, 15 minutes. So we're kind of trending toward an eight-hour nice time, which is a good time for FF8. And here is Raijin, and then Fujin, which we need to draw Pandemona from. FF8, if you're brand new, is all about abusing limits. We love limits. Big fan of them. And Irvine's kind of the star of the limit show. So here we go for shotgun by four. One, two, three, four. Okay, nice. <clears throat> hey, Chrissy, how are you? Kabuto Khan, anyone trickling on in from uh, Yuna's stream, appreciate you. Get comfortable, pull up a chair, go get a beverage of choice. I have a Miller Light Cracked, and uh, enjoy it. Pandemona, I believe, is only from Fujin. All about shotgun. From Irvine here, no different. Let's get Zell out of here. <clears throat> you can often, what you do with one of the strats in FF8 running is to attack with someone to um, allow you to get off a limit. Oh, it killed Irvine! Oh, I think the run's over, guys. No joke. I believe the run's over. Uh, I think so. I think the run's over here. No, I'm not I'm very serious. And so we're, we're quite risky here. Um... No! Oh god, we no 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 are we getting a turn? I don't know if we're getting a turn or not. If we are, we survive. Oh we are. Whew. One, two, three, sit down. I was very nerve-wracking. Oof. Oh, holy cow. I was about to see my run go poof there. And uh, I was not gonna be very happy about it. I I have had a lot of runs have died in the final half an hour lately that have been 10 minutes in the gold. 10 minutes in the green. I've died in, I think now, seven runs in a row in the final half of the run, and four of them have been in the final half an hour. And so I have just been watching my eight runs evaporate every time lately, no matter how good they are. And... <laughs> And so it's really interesting how I just have been trained to fear my runs dying at any moment. Yeah, we got the run over panic out of the way. That's all right. We just had to introduce Unaleska to how, you know, how we how we handle stress around here. Like a real professional, right? I'll just have to give you guys your minor, you know, your minor heart attack of the day. That's part of the program. If I haven't done it, I haven't, like, you know, 
I haven't provided the content yet. In Final Fantasy VIII, and I had to learn this, uh, dying is not really that relevant. Still get the AP, still learn the ability, and uh, everything is all right with the world. Zell, and selfie, and go to Trapia. Hey, how you doing, Nico? Finish some Helldivers 2 with the boyfriend. Time to chill in bed with a little P-Town stream. Hell yeah. Enjoy that P-Tonian ASMR, Nico. We were talking about Helldivers today. How, how it's kind of one of the Game of the Year uh, runners, you know, at the moment. Make sure they don't stay dead, though. Not a bad point. And Irvine, uh, probably more HP, right? Yeah. Good point, Saber Off. Good point. Thank you. You know what's hilarious that I've 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 been really loving? So I, I learned this speedrun for the first time about three weeks ago, and Saber Roth has never played Final Fantasy VIII. He's never speedrun Final Fantasy VIII. In my opinion, Saber Roth is a foremost authority on FF8 speedrunning at this point because he's learned so much from my runs. He's basically as good as I am at the run. If not better. <laughs> and I love that. I love that. And he's never played this game in his life. We've, uh, we've done a good job training you guys up. And Pandemona. And go ahead and give you Encounter None. Okay, he'll Irvine to more than... F yeah, we'll give him one more there. And some GF stuff to do, too. Pandemona learns initiative. Okay, Diablos. Dark side. And Ifrit, fire, magic, refine. Oh. Well, we get a nice little Trabia Garden cutscene to kind of vibe to for a little bit, and then we're into our next... Wow. I can't believe I'm about to say this, though. We're into our next big time save, which is up to five minutes on the Air Soldier split. That would mean, chat, we would be 14 minutes ahead of pace. We've never been close to that, right? I don't think we've ever been that close to that yet. By a couple minutes, at least. That would be a big, big best run for us, so... Really happy to see that. Is that right, Savera? Did you used to stream? Oh my goodness, Ramza is teasing me with one million channel points in my Discord. My, my community has been working for years to try to get 2.5 million channel points to redeem one redemption and one redemption only. And Ramza might be the closest. There you are, you heathen you. You be slubbering, gore-bellied rapscallion. I gotta keep an eye on you. Just wait, you're gonna get to 2.49, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the channel point. <laughs> I'm gonna pull the rug out from under your feet.
You know my favorite part about the run today? It's been so ch chill. It reminds me of how I run FF10, actually. And FF7, where I don't even, like, consider the run. And I don't even really use notes. Ten I don't really use notes for anything but sphere gridding for 10. Final Fantasy VII, pretty similar, you know, only for menus that are big menus. And there's not that many in seven. And that's where we're now at for eight, through hour five, and I probably through hour six, with, which gets you to Esthar, and then, then all hands on deck. Where we're kind of creeping up, if you're new to Final Fantasy VIII, the crux of the run revolves around a five-minute menu in Esthar that is a super run killer, and I've lost multiple runs to it. So, you know, we're not that far from it. He should work on his long range shot. You want to hear the you want to hear the technical details, Kabuto? If you've fought, I'm trying to remember what it is. So it's really weird. Now this might not be right, but it's basically how it works. If you've fought and like killed 200 enemies, Irvine will miss the shot or under. If you've like killed 200 to 300 he'll swish the shot. If you've made 300 or more, he will make the shot with a swirly. Uh-huh. Yeah, it'll do a it'll do a ring around the the rosy and then go in. Very very interesting, I know. I find that to be a really weird thing. I mean, the fact that they literally programmed Irvine's shot <laughs> to, uh, to do that is intriguing. Yeah, kind of a neat touch, huh? Nope. I was a good boy today, Danable. No blowing up the garden. I like my friends alive, not dead. It uh, tends to work out better. I have more positive interactions that way. I also love how I've done it so many times. That's something to be commended on. P-Town, good job. You didn't blow up the garden today. You, you're such a good little boy. You deserve a pet. <laughs> I deserve that. I've blown up the garden twice. romantic about lighthouses or is that just me I feel like they're very romantic I feel the same way about well I don't know maybe not very phallic well they are very phallic this is true but that wasn't what I meant about romantic I just feel like the idea of a lighthouse it's like a romantic idea you know You know, if you're going to go to a lighthouse, it's like an outing, right? It's like a thing to do. You know, you go have a you go have a getaway at a lighthouse or something. weird one second of this music right here 
I guess just the first three lines. Why, why didn't they include Vino Sec? Interesting. A little, a little lord for you guys coming on in. Do you know where those words? Phythos, Lusec, Wikos, Vino Sec come from? Like, that's the main, like, you know, saying, I guess you could say, in FF8. What they did is they took, I guess, the. The theme of the game and rearranged it into a Latin phrase or something resembling a Latin phrase. Yeah, succession of witches, is that right? <clears throat> hey, Reservoir, how you doing? Well, where's the V in there? Where's the Vino set? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, love? Oh. Love and witches. Got it. That kind of sums up the, the run, yeah. Adea, Adele, Sorceresses, love tri you know, the love triangles here between Renoa, Wannabe Quistus, always left out in the cold, Squall. You know, the love, the love, you know, the romance between Zell and his hot dogs, and Irvine and any woman with two legs. It is a very romantic story, yeah. I mean, the foremost, really, the hot dogs, let's be honest. Uh, boom, and switch, uh, selfie for Squall. Okay. For our backwards garden driving. Oh, of course, you can go backwards out of a garden. What am I thinking? When we're done with this upcoming section, I should go backwards to Adea's Orphanage. That would have been the better play, yeah. I mean, I'm thinking about like how to optimize the section based on what I've done in past runs. defense take care of the junior classmen. And we're kind of arriving at our four to five minute time save. Only question is how much are we gonna get? Hey Glizzy, how are you? <clears throat> oh come on in. The attack. The defense. The hot dogs. Nope. The junior classmen. Irvine Squall Quistus, first option in the elevator to go to the quad. On the base.
lot of very epic FMBs through here. If you guys have never seen an 8 round, enjoy. They're very cool. Some of the best in here. Uh, oops, that is first option, first routing mistake of the run, really. And I ran into these guys and they just got me in trouble. They're, I didn't even confirm. They just talked a shit ton. Well, so first option to go to the quad is what should have occurred here. Probably did that in the PB, so I'm not too concerned. But uh, I've been saying I don't want any elevator mistakes today. That is one right there. Have you finished up uh, Rebirth Reservoir? How about everyone else in chat? I'm actually interested. We got, you know, enough people in here to get a good sample size. For those of you who played Rebirth when it came out, how many of you have finished? And how many of you are still rocking and rolling? Now, by the way, if you're coming in from Unaleska's raid, we have a very hard and fast rule. We ban anyone who does spoilers. I, I know, we're, we're harsh, but we ban anyone who does spoilers. You're allowed to say how you like it and where you're at. But I'm curious, like, how many of you have actually finished already? And so, Danable Chapter 12, you're on the last chapter, Bear. Finished, Joey, finished. Wow, a lot of you finished. Platinum it, Jack. I'm, I'm gonna finish tonight. Tonight will be my finish. And you know, maybe we're maybe we're at the point where we should eliminate no spoilers. What do you guys think? Maybe wait another week? I mean, I'm gonna finish tonight. Day Day, you're on the last fight. Dreamer, you finished it three times? Holy cow. Wow, more power to you. <laughs> what what do you guys think? Like, at what point is it fair to Remove the uh, the ban for spoilers. That's what I'm getting at. We need to have a discussion about this. You know, when is it appropriate to decide it's all it's it's all fair, all fair game at that point? You know, when do you make that call as a community, right? For a game as big as Reboot. That's what I'm kind of getting at. You know, how, how should we handle that? You think a month after release should be fine, Kojima? And we're about a month after, right? I think we are. I think to me that feels a little premature, but, you know, I've, I've never really uh, handled anything quite like I've handled Rebirth, so, um, you know, we can play it by feel. First time listening to the P-Town stream while in the shower. 10 out of 10, I'd do it again. Nice. You're gonna finish the next week, Trey? I, you know, I don't know how many hours Matthews. I just know I'm, I'm literally on the final fight. I think. I don't know for sure, but like, I think I know. But, I, I mean, probably probably close to 100, 100 to 150. I would have to look, though, at the game. It's a pretty big game, but you think 30 to 60 days after seems reasonable. So, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of uh, gathering. We're, we're close, right? We're close to the point where we can decide probably to not... Not really worry about spoilers anymore. And feel like we're we're jeopardizing other you know community members' playthrough, right? Well, 
Oh, I appreciate the input, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think I'll, I'm gonna wait another week, at least one more week, and then, uh, then I might decide to lift the spoiler. The no spoiler. Alert. Is there a poll button? No, we haven't done a poll for it. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Most of the streamers you checked on lift spoilers after they finish themselves. <clears throat> oh, okay. Well, I mean, for me, that'll be tonight. Trooper time and uh, big time save time for the air soldier coming up. This is my four to five minute time save. First option, second floor. Nice, you're getting back into eight. That's exciting. That's exciting, Kabuto. Glad I inspired you, maybe, to... Oh, you gotcha. Got back to it that you put on hold. I've been meaning to do a 100% casual playthrough of FF8 myself. I'd probably do it offline, not online. Well, that's neat to hear. I think I've inspired quite a few of my community to uh, to replay FFA2. Now, paratroopers are all about the shotgun ammo for Irvine. Very rare to get like a first turn off here. to see a 100% casual run of FF8. You know, when I do my casuals, I, I often kind of prefer to not do them live on stream. But I've definitely changed. I've, I've kind of mellowed over the, the years. I'd be more receptive to that these days. I think I would definitely... Um, I would be willing to do that. When I was a newer streamer, I really had a, I really had this misconception, this kind of fallacy that in order to, to retain the viewership that I would have for my speedruns, I had to speedrun. And I've, I've definitely kind of learned from experience that that is completely not the case. And, you know, in our community, people just like to hang out to hang out. And so, you know, even though back in the day I would have immediately said no to that, you know, these days I would 100% probably embrace it and, and enjoy it. You know, a full, casual playthrough of 8. And I think you guys would enjoy that, too. I wouldn't do it right away. Like, we've been, you know, playing a lot of 8 lately. But, you know, sometime, I, someday, I could see doing that. I think that's what uh, Unaleska is basically doing right now. They're doing a uh, playthrough of FF10. And if any of you guys don't follow Yuna, you definitely should. Very kind of them to raid in tonight. They are a Final Fantasy fanatic. As you guys know, they have one of the largest Final Fantasy collections in the world. If that's not enough to make you go follow, I don't know what does. Apparently, you're just not a Final Fantasy fan, then.
Boy, that music glitch out kind of made me nervous there. Hey, Gunblade. How was your day at work, my friend? I have kept this going admirably, and we have a good run going, and we've made it up to our four-minute time save on the Air Soldier. I've been waiting for you to get back, so good timing. No, no, you got the, you got you got your cards confiscated. Oh, I'm oh, glad you're enjoying a little triple triad. Well, we're gonna start learning uh, the hundred percent category of FF8 next week. And did you know, the way that you end a hundred percent run is with an, an entire hour of cards. Yes, you heard me right, an hour of cards. I think minimum. And I think, in my opinion, that will be the highlight of the entire run, right, chat? <laughs> I mean, what's better? Like, if, if that's not music to your ears, I don't know what is, right? me with a good time, right? I don't know. I don't think Nine has a Hundo Leopard. Um, in any percent, there's no card playing for the end. There's card playing at the four hour mark, four to four and a half, I think, when you have to do the three games in the tournament. As part of the any percent run, you have to do it. It's a story trigger. And so here we go, guys. This is the four to five minute time save. I die most runs here, by the way. Wish me luck. I would love to not die today. Okay. There we go. Not a great start. Got me. Come on, let's go, baby. Come on. No, not now, not now. We got this. We're so close. Couple more. We're almost there. He's gonna hit me. Ooh, come on, baby. One more. One more, that's all we need. Got it. Let's go. Oh, wait, we didn't get it. Oh my oh, I stopped. I actually stopped, because I thought I won. Ooh. Uh, that got risky. <laughs> One HP in a dream and a four minute time save. Let's go. Yeah, the knee to the face. <laughs> he, I swear he had no HP and so I stopped. I don't know if you guys saw the same thing, but to, I, I swear it looked like none, and normally they fall off like that. Hey, Shirkules, welcome on in. Thank you for the streak. Yeah, I thought I totally thought that was it. I mean, we've never been anything better than, I think, 10 minutes in the green here. 
This is a great run. This is a legitimately great run. And we're about to end disc two here. <clears throat> and uh, the end of disc two has an important fight, a uh, cipher, a day of fight that I've died to. So, we need to keep our eye on the prize here. Pick option two when we can, when we can. No, 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 no. Is that the, like, the, there. You look for the no, 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 no. Okay. a lot of routing in here, and then the end of the second disc. Disc one is about two hours, 40 minutes. We're talking world record pace. Disc two, about 220, I think. And then disc three, like 140. And then the final disc is like 20 minutes. Very short. So once you're done with here, it's kind of like time to think about really getting down to business and getting this PB done. Irvine, Squall, and Selfie. You know, we're going to be really careful on every menu from here on out. The way that eight runs die from here on out is a menu mistake, in my opinion. And so Junction Exchange, Squall for Irvine, Irvine for Selfie. And so we're going to be uber, uber careful today on our menus. Uh, to the right. Go down, down, and down. Uh, no, down, right? And then left. Left door to the hockey rink, right? Yeah. Oh, really? You have that up too? That's interesting. <clears throat> I wouldn't know. I, um... Just be hoping for the best there. I'm just looking for a nice, steady S star menu, and that if I need to board it, boarding number two, like I don't, I don't care. That's fine, totally fine. Third floor. Oh, that buffer always gets me. That's a toughie there. Up into left, and then left into down. But that's cool, it used to grind the zombie hockey players just to watch them die. I love that. Down. Down, down, down left. Say hi to Cerberus. Hi, buddy. Hi, bye. Oh. Wrangling all of our key cards here. Yeah, see you in Hundo. We're gonna have to defeat him. You have to take on all bosses in a Hundo. Very good point. Best support Guardian Forest right there. I remember in my casual, Cerberus was a really good one. 
I don't remember why, but I remember he was really good when I got him. Like, I was super excited about his abilities that he had to junction. What does he have that's so exciting? <clears throat> is it auto haste? Is that what it is? Gives everyone double and triple? Hmm. That's why. Yeah, it gives everyone double and triple. That's a big deal. Yeah. And a speed junction. Oh, you can cast a double and triple. Yeah. Well, we attack first with Irvine, then with Squall here. So, who's got... well... Too bad we didn't have better ATB on... Uh, on... Irvine. Is that the win, or do we need another hit? Hey, you got two turns? Glad that's on Selfie. He's got more HP than I gave him credit for. Wow. I've never seen him attack twice there. So we're gonna want to heal up after that. That was that was an interesting fight. A little sketchier than I expected, really. Wouldn't call it that sketchy, but we, we're gonna need to heal here. And so switch Squall for Irvine. Okay. Okay. There, now I'm comfortable. Wait, why did I heal Zell? I mean, Selfie doesn't matter in this fight, really, I guess, but... Let me take a look at Selfie real quick. Here we go for the end of disc two. many? Four. Oh, wait! I gave her a turn! I'm probably dead here. Oh, I think I- Oh, God! Good. Okay. One, two, three, four. Good. Nice. Another scary fight. Another scary fight. You know, the tough thing there is is recognizing when Cypher's dead. Yeah, I got the limit off before the curse. That's I, I didn't know if that would still get it off, right? Because um, I, I realized I was cursed. And I had no clue if it would override the limit queue. So that's good to know. We just learned that the limit priority takes effect over the curse. Whatever happens first. So that's good to know. But yeah, you can also just you can also just shoot her the The problem that I had there is you need to know Cypher's dead. Because if you queue up the normal ammo and Cypher has lived, which he totally can, then you're doing your normal ammo and your run dies. Because you're you're gonna then wait for Irvine's ATB to fully fill and you're often just gonna be dead. 
by the time he gets a turn. And so I've been trained to be pretty nervous when about making sure Cypher's, you know, Cypher's dead there. But excellent. Nice disc to end. Mm mm mm. <clears throat> Yeah, thank you, thank you. That's a nice disc. Got a first-time air soldier. It's a big, big nice thing there. Got a Laguna Dream 4 coming up. I'm just really vibing to this run today. It's been a great feeling run, you know? Through and through. Felt steady, felt professional. This has been fun. And we have Zell, Squall, and Selfie. It does deserve some works. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Nothing like working to 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 raise the vibe, right? Mm -hmm. Ask for your support. It's like right here. There we go. Hey, Matthews. I was right. Can't land over water and expect to leave the garden out the front gate. I don't think I was right. I think that was like Saveroff. I think I had no clue. Someone in chat called it out, though, and they were totally right. And then I couldn't get out. And I, I was funny you brought that up. I was reading my notes, and it says to run out the front gate, and I was thinking about that moment. And I was like, why did that occur? All right, I think we're fine today. And, uh, yeah, I think we're, I think we're good today. But, um, yeah, apparently Saberoth, totally correct. commit to memory is the the junctions that we always do for the Laguna Dreams. There's only two of, two or three from here on out. I think like two. And it's always Squall, Irvine, Quistus. Always. I just need to know that, right? Because I've lost time to, uh, you know, to having to think about that, scroll on the notes if I'm not ready for it. I'm just, that's, those are aggravating time losses that I'm better than at this point, and we don't want to see is my only point. So we want to be, uh, we want to be, uh, we want to be good here. You'd be all for an FF8 remake, especially after Rebirth being so good. I would love to see an FF8 remake. I'm not, I wouldn't be opposed. I would not be opposed. Now, you guys are saying that 9 is next. I don't think there's any confirmation of that, right? You are... you are... Definitely taking a leap of faith, I think. Uh, Irvine and Quistus was not ready for that. 
Yeah, I think it's rumors, right? So you can't say it's going to be 9. You don't really know that. However, thank you guys for hanging out on your Sunday, Monday around here. Hope you're having a good time. Two and a half hours to the gate. Maybe this is our, our finally, our run. Maybe it is. If it is, boy, it's been a long time coming. I don't think I've ever lost the uh, dragon fight. You can lose this. It's not like game over. It just resets the fight. I'm not sure I've lost it though. So here we go for our cinematic moment. See if we can get a get an Oscar for this for a best male leading role against a dragon. Did I lose to it? Okay, maybe I lost one time. All right, good. Keep P-Town honest, that's fair. It must have been the first time. I'm much better than I used to be. I can recognize when he's going to attack me now. Um, I have improved. Guard. Oh, he got me. Right out of the rip. Oh, defend. He did a gather motion. You could tell he was about to attack. Get some more rapid, like, head bob. See if you can identify it. You can, like, watch his head. You'll see. It becomes, like, double speed. Nope. Watch his head here. Nope. See if he's gonna do any of them. He did it for the very first attack, and he has the sense. Nope. So he's not gonna do it again. So nice fight. Very good. Is that right? That is Laguna's stance is the same as Cypher's. Yeah, that is cool to point out. And don't worry, don't worry, we're gonna menu. I got this, I got this. Gotta pick the second option here to uh, to menu or you, your run will die here. Because no one has injunction in it. And uh, you are going to be very unhappy with your decision to not pick option two coming up right here. Kairos gets Ifrit and item. And 40 and 60. Okay, Ward, you are... Nope, you are not Ward. You are Ward. You get Carbuckle. On to attack an item. Um, are we good on health? I mean, not really. Now we're good. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I, the one time I did the animal, I died. Uh, that's what occurred. <laughs> Kick that ass, sea bass. No, you're all good. You're all good. But that fight, that fight is a dead fight. Your run will die. Nothing you can do about it if you've forgotten to, uh, to menu. As I can tell you from experience.
Is that right? You can see the lunatic Pandora floating there? I'm so glad you guys said that. I had no idea. I gotta look for that next time. I wonder if we save time here. It was a nice, nice dream. This is, is this the end right here? If it is, it's a big time save. But it takes a while to kind of like actually end. Right? Yeah. When does it actually end? There. Good section. 15 seconds time save. Let's go. Zell Squall Selfie. Exit through the front gate. Same old rigor marole here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Lagoon was playing in the movie The Cypher Loved, and that's why he mimicked the stance. Yep, totally. I am too, Danable. I hope it's a good one, though, not a bad one today. I have a new line in my notes to junction speed on, uh, to learn the ability speed on, uh, Pandemona. Apparently that was supposed to be in my notes and just wasn't. Because I'm doing it a little unorthodox. Like, most runners wouldn't need that, but I do, apparently, according to Zaiden. And uh, so that was why I was having trouble there. I wasn't junctioning speed to Irvine that last run that died. And so he was way too slow, is what occurred. And I, I added in the new line to, to after initiative, we're going to learn the ability speed junction <clears throat> at that point. And so I think that'll fix the whole issue today. I think, I think, I think. Ah, man, I don't. I hope so, but I've felt really good about my runs so many times. You know, the nice thing about today is we are three to four minutes ahead of any run we've ever done. And I don't practice, right? I've never practiced this run outside of the five days in a row we did a month ago. But every run is getting us so much better, right? I know they're not finishing, I know it sucks, I'm as mad about it as probably you guys are. But at the end of the day, we really have gotten good at running 8. We just gotta finish, you know, we just gotta fucking finish. It's such a funny like, kind of, you know, arc, how our month is gone of learning 8. Because I've never had a run where I've felt so aggravated in how long it has taken to finish this third run. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. You know, J-Bub, I wanted to. I texted the guy. I said, are we still on? And he never messaged me back. Which usually means they filled the room, right? They filled the house. So I tried, but no. No response. Guess what, guys? We're into S-Star. That is exciting. And it's horrifying. But we're into S-Star next. Nah, it's all good, J-Bub. Honestly, we've been streaming for, what, 5 hours, 46 minutes tonight? Not a single frame drop, so... You know, hopefully I'm not conjuring Comcast ire here. But, uh... You know, at least it's been a good night so far tonight.
Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. You can't hurt Torelli, right? I did donate a 12 pack of beer to a homeless person tonight, apparently. <laughs> it wasn't really intended, but, uh, you know, I'm kinda, kinda happy it went down. Someone's having a fun night in, in, in Glockwood tonight around me. And more power to him. <laughs> I came home from work today and I, I bought a, six, a 12 pack of beer. I think I left it outside my door. And when I went out to go get it, it was gone. And in my area, that means a homeless person is definitely enjoying my 12 pack. Is what that means. And so they're having a great time tonight, and you know what? Cheers to them. <laughs> hey, hey, Yogi. Thanks a lot for the good luck. Hope you're having a great Sunday. to hear you're an FF8 fan, Yogi. Is this your first time in here? I've been learning FF8 for the last, oh, three weeks. Took five days to learn it. Still trying to get our third finished run tonight. We're going to be learning 100% starting on Tuesday. I decided I'm going to take a day off tomorrow. We're going to do a full day of Sea of Stars. I just need a, I need a break from FF8. I've had too much. And I think you guys have too. So I'm going to take a day and enjoy Sea of Stars. And then we'll get into 100% on Tuesday. Uh, learning. But I'm at the point, JC, where, like, I need a, I need a break. I've had too much aid. <clears throat> it's a great run, and, like, I, it's awesome. I'm having fun. But at a certain point, I'm a, I'm a person who is so widely, you know, I know so many speedruns, and, and all of them at a very good level. It's kind of a shame for a guy like me to spend too much time on one game. It's kind of the reality. And so I got I got I got to kind of decide when it's like all right we've had enough time to time to transition to that new thing you know But yep we are uh, been running FF8 for about what two weeks in a row now every weekday and uh, definitely all of next week. And then we had a sub goal up for Final Fantasy XII. And to uh, do a casual playthrough and learn the speed run, we're going to start that the week after we learn FF8 Hundo. So all you 12 fans can get super excited for that. And selfie and switch. Selfie for Quistus. Uh, yes. Okay. Yep, FF12. Yes, I put up a goal of 75 subs yesterday. When I do that, the uh, go the the deal is you have to hit it in one day. And uh, we not only hit it in one day, I think we hit it in like 15 minutes, and it was 100 subs. <laughs> so yes, we uh, we have definitely knocked out the sub goal for FF12. And a big, big, big shout out to you guys who uh, made that happen. I was not interested in running 12, so I told the community, okay, if you want me to do it, I'm gonna, uh, I gotta pick a number that I think is worth forcing me to run it, and my number was 75, and uh, we, we nailed it, we nailed it, and a uh, big shout out to you guys, who, Torelli, who had 20 gift subs on it, a lot of other people who had, you know, five subbies on it, right? I, I put five subbies on it. In fact, I think I had seven or eight subbies on it. You know, I P-Town always helps out our own goals. 
And yeah, FF12 coming in after we finish up FF8. I'm really excited. And I've never played it, so like, we're literally gonna be learning, guys. We're gonna be learning the whole thing. How to play it, how the game is, all that good stuff. Just thinking of Vaughn is making me cringe. <laughs> Hey, man, I don't know, I don't know. I'm going to find out, right? And that's going to be a lot of fun. Hey, 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 man. I'm just here vibing, having a good time. Chill out. There's our second undead boss of the day. This is a bad one. We've already thrown an elixir on Jero. Jero. Well, my plan is, I'm not going to do side questing, I'm going to do the mainline game. I'm going to do the main story. Learn how to play it, and then spend two days doing that. I, I hope, hopefully, only two days. And then we get right into the speed run after that. that. That's the game plan for me. That's what I'm doing. Okay, game. Come on, there we go. There we go, there we go. Is that right? Balthier has the same voice actor as Biggs from Rebirth. <clears throat> cool. But we're not going to do everything. You know, we're not going to be side questing. We're we're gonna we're gonna do a speedy casual, and then we'll learn the uh, speed run of TZA. I think any percent is the category. Da -na -na -na. That's a great question, uh, Kojima. Chat, what did we decide on? Have we decided which uh, 12 we're going to do? I think we decided TZA, right? But I, I don't know anything about 12, so I kind of rely on my community codes. Because I've literally... The only 12 I've ever seen is I raid uh, the main 12 run of Z runner Zero Scar. Often enough that I've watched him, like, maybe... 10 minutes total, right? I've watched him do the speedrun. <clears throat> and I think he runs mostly TZA. So I was thinking that would be the one we, we probably would do too. TZA is the better one. Okay. Yeah, it's any percent TZA. Okay. I mean, I, I have a PS2. I have a way to record it. I have a nice Elgato capture card. But I always prefer playing on PC. So I, I think TZA will definitely be the play. It's a very short speedrun. Yeah, world record under 2 hours 45 minutes. One reason I'm so intrigued in the run is to see why it's so short for such a modern Final Fantasy. You know, the trend in Final Fantasies is they get longer and longer as they progress in the series. You know, that is a shorter run, for example, than um, Final Fantasy IV, and I think Final Fantasy III. About the same as three, I think. Very intriguing. How did I get into running Final Fantasy games, Cutsman? I think one day I just got tired of watching people not stream very well, and I was like, I can do way better. Is the honest answer. Unfortunately, speedrunning and being a good streamer rarely go hand in hand. And I was a very much a Twitch Speed 1 watcher for years, and I think I got to the point where I eventually realized uh, there is an avenue here that is not being filled, and P-Town can kind of fill that. P-Town can step in and, and fill that role. 
of a good speedrunner and a good commentator. As that's a pretty rare thing to find on Twitch. It's one thing to be a good speedrunner. It's one thing to be a good commentator. It's very rare to see both. Very rare to see both. And I was like, you know, I think I can do this better than anyone else I see. And that's why I started. battle, I think, is like Unjunction, too. Although, Laguna does pack quite a punch here. He must have a Junction on him. Yo, Mr. Goodman, thanks a lot for the gift sub to J-Bub. Very, very kind to you. Very, very common community hanger out, J-Bub. I'm sure we'll, we'll enjoy that. Thanks a lot, Goodman, and J-Bub, enjoy your month of ad-free content. Well, Kairos gets Ifrit, Attack, Item, Strength, Strength, Rock and Roll. Uh, you know what? Uh, yeah. Good idea. Second option. Okay. Now, this is our Gesper fight. We want to take out Ward, though. I don't think Ward can kill himself. I'm not actually sure though. And is that gonna take him out? Yes, it is. Okay. Like I don't know if Ward is Junction or not. He, I don't, he might be, but I'm not sure. His his uh, anchor throw is quite long too. It's quite a long anchor throw. So that's one consideration, I guess. You know, for example, we kill Ward in Laguna Dream 2 and 3. And, and there, every every dream we kill Ward. Poor Ward. I kind of feel bad for the guy. His, his fate in life is literally to die <laughs> in the speedrun. That is all he does. Some runners use Ward to, not some, I think the preferred strat is to use Anchor um, on Diablos in Laguna Dream. Is that one or two? Two, right? Uh, whatever it is. Yes. Yes, yes, and yes. Um, that's not what I do, but that is the better strat, totally. And you'll see the better runners do that. And it's something I'm planning on learning eventually, but, you know, I've, I've committed to... I'm, I need another PB. Before I add in, you know, the more optimal, the final polish on the... I, I, I gotta get this PB first, because I, we're, we're gonna get a 15-minute like a, like a PB, you know, with the strats that I'm using right now, you know? And so I don't really want to go without changing anything. 
But that is something that would be a lot better for us. Like, that would be a big improvement in the run if, when we add that in, totally. Whoa, the crit. Yo, oh, easy looking. Jeez. Well, I mean, I'm 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 well on sub eight pace right now. At the moment, I'm on what eight oh one pace. <clears throat> and I, I typically have time save all over the run from here on out. You know, look at my splits. My PB is an eight fourteen forty nine, right? I am almost 14 minutes ahead of pace, meaning I'm on 8 flat, 49 second pace, right? And I normally will save more time throughout the end. So, I mean, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've had sub-8 in, in this run for a couple runs in a row now. I've just, they've died at the end. And dying. Well, I just ate an egg, and the yolk fell out. I mean, a, a boiled egg. That was rather rude. All over my my computer desk. Thank you, egg. the most important thing from here on out <clears throat> is definitely the S-Star menu, and we're there. Like, we are 10 minutes away from the S-Star menu. I think. So, if we board that Lunatic Pandora, and we board it in a decent time, we are a thousand percent on for sub-8. Like, totally. <clears throat> if we board that Lunatic Pandora, and we got issues, or the run dies. I mean, I've, my, two of my runs have died to the S-Star menu coming up here. It's a major run killer. And I think the most likely way the run dies tonight, if it dies anywhere, you know, that that is coming right up and it needs to look good. Or we're in... We're not going to end very happy tonight. I've never played Legend of Dragon, though. No. Not a game I think I will play, but, you know, I, I, I wasn't planning on learning FF12, and here I am. I mean, my, my community can talk me into learning anything if they enjoy the game enough. So. Oh, Reclaim Alone! Of course. <clears throat> and there we go. it right now. You think I'd love Legend of Dragoon? Hmm. Legend of Dragoon is amazing. Kayla Bunny, how you doing? Hope you're having a good Sunday Monday. I mean, I, I know it's a great game. A lot of people rave about it. Never looked at it, never played it. One of the few RPGs where combat was always fun for you, even at the very end, huh? And also the Gaia, huh? Excellent games. Oh, these are very high praise. 
lot of people talking very, very highly about uh, LOD. The glitched speed run is two hours, four minutes for Legend of Dragoon. I mean, for, for that run, for when it came out. What is a glitch less? A glitched speed run is like irrelevant to me because, I mean, a glitch could cause a run to be finished at the first second of the run. So what is glitchless for Legend of Dragoon? Holy cow. That's a long time for a game that old. Cheers, chat. From my Miller Lite to your couch. Hope you've had a good run tonight. We're gonna go renting a car. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna go see the town. That is a Miller Lite, my friend. That is some burr. We like to have fun around here. Buffers, transitions on point. This one will run through the, the, the platform. And here I don't want to overshoot. Well, no, never mind. Uh, now, the next screen, I don't want to overshoot the computer. I always run past it and then I have to like come back. I don't know why. I don't know why. We're going to be better today. There, nice. Lunar base time. I love how rental prices are identical in Dolette as they are in Esthar. Very stable economy in this world. can't park on there? I didn't know that. Legend of Dragoon has a special place in my heart based on nostalgia alone. But you haven't played it since you were 10, huh? Well, I mean, I've heard enough to be uh, interested in checking it out. <clears throat> Just from what you guys have said tonight. Let's kind of add that to the list of things on the back burner to consider for a casual. Boy, holy cow. S-Thar menu. <laughs> Coming right up, guys. I'm so excited for it. Nervous for it. Not excited for it. I'm nervous for it, but here we go. It's not something I practice. I just show up and show out. At least the best I can. I think the most likely outcome is we board on, on boarding point number two. And if that's the case, more power to us. Like, I just, I just want to get on that lunatic Pandora. And if I can, and it's fairly straightforward, I'll be so happy. 
all I care about. Is my run not dying here? It's like really <laughs> kind of everything to me at the moment. Because I have had so many runs die at this point where I'm so far ahead and I'm looking great that I've just got some trauma. I've got some trauma by now. And I really need this to be boarded. I really do. <laughs> or I'm going to be pretty distraught tonight. Uh, Renault Squall and Selfie. Okay. I announced the surprise I mentioned two streams past. Um, that wasn't really a surprise uh, announcement. We were just, uh, the surprise was that day Sabotage Studio uh, released the new speedrun relic. And the surprise was we were gonna check it out after, after FF8. So no, I think, I think maybe you, you were thinking it was more than that. That was the surprise. And tomorrow, by the way, we'll be doing a uh, Sea of Stars speedrun. First ever with the uh, speedrun relic. star menu here. Reviewing it's almost irrelevant. Like, I, I have to do it by reading it. That's kind of the only option for uh, myself. Alright. Adea, Zell, Quistus. Squall for Adea. Baby, baby, baby. It's Esther menu time, guys. We're there. If we get through here, the run really elevates, and uh, we, we have such optimism. But uh, we need to survive this menu first. This is the, what is 8 is known for. This is the biggest thing that is known for, the Esther menu. And how it goes will have a monumental impact on this PB. So, here we go. Oh. All right, we're gonna buy the uh, Mega Potions. The HPJ Scrolls, sell the Mega Potions, the Strength Scrolls, yep. Go ahead and edit these notes actually. Well, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that live on stream. That sounds poor. Alright, HP junk scroll by one, strength by three, Phoenix down by two, fire ammo by twenty-one. I'm gonna do the stairs menu, pray for a Sam, then for the gym. I might be on the step route, guys. We might literally get what we want on purpose today. But I don't know for sure. But there is a chance. 
today was a really good day. Definitely my best step route performance so far. So, that's all I can tell you. Okay, this is it, chat. S-star menu begins now. And we exit the screen. In all of my time streaming, have I ever rage quit a stream? Hmm. Well, that's a nice three second time loss. Okay. Hmm. I think the answer to that is actually no. I think the answer is no. Pretty hard to get P-Town thrown off this game. Alright, here go the sell the Megas, buy the HP and the strength. Phoenix Downs and Fire Ammo. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, what the fuck? Why did it not... Okay. Give me that Rosetta Stone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Get me out of here. Hey, Sheffy, how you doing? Switch, uh, Zell for Irvine, Renoa for Selfie, Card Mod, everything. Okay, GF Ifrit, learn Ammo, uh, Nope, Diablos, you learn ST, okay, Carbuncle, you learn nothing, item, sort. Okay, uh, Junction, Adea, Ability, uh, Dark Side, and Move and Counter, none, and I think we're good to go here. What is our first encounter? Is the question. Is it a Sam? It is not. It is! So it is. Okay, that's a good start. If it's a GIM in the next uh, screen, we, we're good. We're good. And I think it might be right away if we're on the step row. Uh, Zell and... I must be super careful here. Oh, it's right away. Did we do it? Are we on the step route today? Is it a... G-I-M it is! We did it today. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. This is gonna make a big difference, guys. We're gonna board on, on, on the first boarding, I'm sure. I am sure of it. Due to this, I, I really think here. This was just what we needed. Okay, we need a good menu here now. Let's just take it nice and steady, don't fuck it up. Whew, okay. 
my blood is going now. Uh, switch. Adea for Squall. Irvine for Zell. Okay, ability ST. Give me the magic stones on Irvine. Uh, okay, that's a lot of them, more than I'm used to. Time. The wizard stones on Squall. The black holes. Okay, uh, L Magic Refine the Tents, uh, to Zell. Uh, he already has a hundred. Interesting. Okay, that's weird, actually. I don't know why Quistus doesn't. Uh, Zombie Powder. Okay, Fire Magic Refine, Wizard Stones, uh, on Squall for the Fire Ragas. GF, uh, if it, you need the ammo refine. Ooh, why don't I have ammo refine? Oh, he's too low level. We'll have to do that later. Okay. Uh, uh sure, just put it on anything. Uh, magic on Squall. Exchange the triples with Irvine. Uh, Irvine doesn't have triples? Oh, something's totally wrong. Fuck! Fuck! I messed up, chat! Oh, hold on! I found him! Take all, okay. Delete the blizzag- Something's wrong here, by the way. Uh, delete the blizzagas. Uh, magic on Zell. Exchange. Why are those not on Irvine? Give all! That's totally wrong there. Oh, we're in trouble here. I mean, that's a big issue there, if that was an issue. Exchange those with, uh, you... Uh, the... Where's the haste? Oh, so a switch didn't, didn't go correctly. I mean, who has haste? Um, magic on Adea? Check Zell? He has, okay, so switch, Zell for Irvine, I think. And then magic on, oh, I bet I just fucked up even worse, I have no idea. Exchange haste with you, I guess where my runs go totally fucked, when I have to YOLO. Um, so we'll see here what that did to us. Uh, delete the water, okay, item, sort, uh, the HPJ is on Diablos. Okay, the strength is on Siren. Diablos. Carbuncle. Rosetta on you. Okay, uh... Item... Sort... Junction. Okay, Squall. Uh... Off all. Yes. Irvine. Uh... You... Take off if it give you Diablos. Auto attack. Magic dark side and item. Uh, strength 60 encounter none. He has that. That's good to see. Okay, Renoa. Uh, carbuncle. Um, auto attack item. Okay, uh, selfie time. Siren. Auto attack item. Zell. Why is okay? There we go. Yep. Uh, auto attack. Magic item. Uh, strength 60. Okay. Squall. Well, that is correct. Everything's on the right person here. Item. Strength 40. Strength 60. Strength 20. Switch Adea for Squall, Irvine for Quistus. That was a terrible menu, and I'm not going to make it on in time. So the, the problem, I got in trouble there with my triples. Someone was not switched, and I'm afraid to kill the run, actually. I'm quite afraid to kill the run. That no one was switched there. Or that it was incorrect. So we're not going to be able to board here. We have to board at number two. So we're going to flee. And uh, go to the second boarding spot. 
And I suppose for that, uh, yeah, okay. We have Encounter None on, right? And so it's a, a second boarding spot kind of day. Brent, are, are, are you concerned I f I'm still fucked up? That's what I can't understand. Like, you guys are saying that, but you're not telling me anymore. You're just, you're just telling me something, like, I don't know how to interpret that. That's where I get in trouble here. Now I'm trying to interpret chat, actually. And so this is where things get really bad. Oh, okay. Uh, give all? I think we're good, maybe? If we do that. You're right, he had them all. Good catch, good catch. <clears throat> what I need from you, though, is if you notice that that's a mistake, you can't tell me, like, you switch the triples. The the vital information for me is you need to switch Zell back to Irvine, right? Because I'm not a runner who knows how to get out of a how to get out of a situation like that. Like you're you're just telling me I fucked up. You're not telling me how to fix it. And so it gets me into this conundrum where I ha I'm trying to interpret what you're saying while trying to interpret how to fix it, and it gets really really murky, right? So you got to be careful with that. I, I agree, Roshi. More of my runs have died to junction mistakes than anything else. Anything else at all. It's pretty interesting. Now, we're going to win this fight, and we're not going to flee, and this will get us on the Lunatic Pandora. Not great, right? That was triple issue, ruined my boarding. But look, if we get through this, no harm, no fucking foul. Um, wait, where's Dark Side? Oh, okay. I guess we just attack out here. Just attack for the win. As long as we're good, guys, as long as we're on this Lunatic Pandora, and as long as my, my, my menuing is fine, we're okay. So two things here need to have happened. Number one, we need to have the menus perfect. Number two, um, switch a Dea for Squall. Put Pandemona on Speed Junction. You know, number two, we... What was y'all gonna say? <laughs> I don't know, just hang in there. Hopefully this is gonna go well. I was trying to get somewhere where I can kind of start vibing again and get comfy. That was pretty hectic. That was pretty hectic. Get out of here, though, and we're good, and everything looks correct. I think we're good to go until disc four for the final 25 minutes of the run, and that's really it. That's really it. So we've made it on, but I mean, did we, did we make it on successfully with uh, everything correct? I actually think we did. If you want my opinion, I think we did. What do you guys think? There was a lot of, lot of shenanigans around that triple shit. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think the bigger question is, did I, did I lose? How much time did I lose, if any, you know, as we go through? This is a really weird section of the run where I skipped the Laguna Dream 5, Space Start, and the Cockpit. And the next one I did was Fujin Region 2. Guess what? That is the beginning of the final disc four of FF8. And that's an hour from now. So we gotta go an hour before we know how that all, you know, kind of wrapped up, right? That's the really intriguing thing, and honestly, I kind of like it because it makes me push to the maximum through the next hour to try to make sure I don't lose time if I had a really bad S-Start menu. 
And so in a way, I kind of like the fact that I'm just left not knowing what the heck's going on. So, you know, just get comfortable, crack a beverage of choice, and enjoy. We got to run tonight, I think. We got to run tonight. This is three minutes more than I've ever been ahead at a bat in. We might have lost two minutes, you know. If we didn't board on the first and we had to go to the second, the most time lost we're losing is two minutes, basically, for me. And so it's not the end of the world, you know. When you're this far ahead, that's fine. The important thing is, is your run intact, are your menus intact, and then you're good to go. All right, well, I can, I can get back to vibing now. Good. I was very stressed out for a while. And I don't think it matters until the Ragnarok, too. There's really no fighting in here. This is all routing, right? Is there a single fight on the, uh, in space? Let's think about that. I mean, no, there's not, right? The next fight we do is in... is a Propagator, right? Yeah, no fights. Yeah, yeah, that, that is where we'll know if things went right or they went wrong. Now, the good news is we have initiative, right? So at least we have that. Without initiative, your, your run's in real jeopardy here. You know the other nice thing? I can save before the first propagator. And so if we have an issue, I can try to fix it, right? That's one thing to consider. Is the save is right there and is super fast and super easy. And I think we probably do it today. Just on the just on the, the off chance that that was not a correct fix to the triple situation. What do you guys think? I think that's a safe play. And I, I like that a lot. Oh, shit. The 2001 Space Odyssey vibes here are huge. I would agree with that, yeah. I would definitely agree with that. Alright, Torelli, enjoy that bitch. I'll catch ya. Catch ya either for Sea of Stars tomorrow or a little FF8 hundo on uh, Tuesday. Can't wait. So if you're brand new to an FF8 run, you're going to think what I'm about to do is kind of strange. And so what I'm going to do here <clears throat> is exit the screen in an attempt to forward Renoa walking more quickly. And so what, you, uh, what you're told to do via the notes is exit when she takes one step into the screen. Right there. And then... Back in, and she should be farther forward now. She is, and now she's through. Not bad, not bad. I, I think that can be done more optimally, actually. Not by me, probably, but uh, that's about as good as I can do it. But that might be the best we can do it, actually. Hard to say.
What? 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 There we go. <laughs> I think I need to not talk to her until she's like done her thing with the computer, potentially. I need to work on that a little bit. A little, little thing that requires some, some testing, I think. You know, you might have noticed that was Renoa saying the same thing like four times in a row. Uh, yes, check the computer when she's done. Okay. These FMVs are so sick. So sick. Follow Renoa here. this buffer here. Oh, it's up left. Nice. Okay, we do some stuff here to uh, try to save a little bit of time. Try to get Squall kind of in position to... Uh, Quickly trip over the, uh, the the trigger here when we see Sorceress Ultimicia. God, these FMVs still some of the most sick, even in today's standards. I totally agree, and I, they impress me every time, man. I've often said, like, I, I don't understand how they had this quality of FMVs back in the day, almost 30 years ago. Just incredible. And modern releases still barely, you know, beat out what these look like. Sure, a little more, you know, less pixelated, but, uh, you know, they really do hang in there. They really do. Next thing up, once we actually do something, are propagators. And we're going to find out if that menu was correct or not. The way runs die in 8 at this point is your menu went wrong and you kill the run. So that's kind of the thing we're going to be finding out here.
Is that right? You think the in-game cutscenes look better than the FMVs in Rebirth? I mean, I don't- I'm not disagreeing. I just- I, I honestly can't notice a difference between the two, I think. Is all. Well, we talked to her alone here, and I, I often forget to talk to her and lose a lot of time there, so that's great. This has been a really well-routed section. I've been really motivated to push through it, try to not lose time, try to save time, because I think I lost time through, you know, Esthar. And, uh, I want to pull back everything I can here. And so here goes a chewy spree. I need, like, some sugar, right? Some sugar here. Alright, get the... Get the energy elevated for the, uh, routing of our propagators. Get on in that capsule, buddy. I don't think I need to talk to a Piet. I think I just talked to alone there. I talked to Piet first, I think I lost time. Yeah, I did. Okay. So close to singing Eyes on Me with Fei Wong tonight. Hope you guys are excited. Hope you guys are excited. If we get to that point, we will uh, do a live rendition, a duet with the singer of Eyes on Me, Fei Wong. Coming up here in space. But only if we're alive to see it and survive the propagators. And only for five gift subbies. That's the price to be paid. To hear eyes on me. But don't don't give five yet. We gotta get there first. <laughs> we gotta get there first. And I'm not sure we're gonna survive the propagator section, so hang in there. Uh, it brings a smile to my face reading that J-Bub. Definitely reminds me of my youth, too. 
Although I was a very selfish kiddo, I would, <laughs> I would definitely want to do a seven playthrough on my lo on my own, b by myself, and not share it with anyone else. It's all mine. Now this is Adele, huh? I know I, I know very little of the lore of Adele. I don't know if they're male or female. I don't know if they're anything. I'm assuming they are a sorcerer. <laughs> a sorceress of some sort. And uh, we're going to take them on coming up here. Ultimecia? Is that Ultimecia? It's not Adele. Got it. I know very little of the lore in this kind of section. Adele is a sorceress with which implies female, but she sure doesn't look female. Got it. Adele is female and a sorceress. She ruled Esthar before Laguna liberated the city from her terror. But that was Ultimecia. Got it. I'm doing a lot here. The notes on this section, at least my notes, I, I edited this really heavily. It reads, Relax and drink PBR. It's a very stressful segment. Highly demanding of the speedrunner. Very, very stressful. Cheers to you guys. This is your drink PBR segment. <laughs> While we enjoy Renoa floating through space here, literally, I'm doing nothing. This is just a, uh, this is kind of like an, not an auto-scroll, but, you know, Renoa is literally just floating here. Ah, so Ultimecia possessed Adele. Got it. Adele is he in French, but every other version in the extra non-game content states female. That's really interesting. So it depends on the language, too. Hmm. And the French extra content, so maybe it was a mistake in French. Or maybe not intended to mean female. That's what I was thinking. Maybe like a translation error. Yeah. Well, you know what uh, right now is a perfect time for? Running through mentally the entire propagator... <laughs> Ship routing. Okay. So we're going to go in, right? We're going to go down the stairs. We're going to fight the purple. We're going to go up and left and then fight the next purple. We're going to go through the door that we're waiting on and fight the green one on the elevator and then back and out to the first purple guy we, we killed and into the cul-de-sac hallway for the second green. Okay. Now, from there, we're on the red. So then we go out and left and up, kill the first red, back to the stairs, up the stairs to the final red, south to the first yellow, and then all the way back to the conference room downstairs and around the elevator to the second yellow. Okay. I have run through the entire segment in my head. So we should be good here. Should be good for a very nice propagator section as long as our, our menu is correct. 
You know what I also need to redo? I need to also auto junctions Irvine in case the triples didn't junction onto him. I don't know if I actually auto junctioned after. Glad I thought of that. You gotta wonder why the developers were like, yeah, we're gonna have Renoa float through space for five minutes straight. What do you think the intended purpose was? Do you think it's to, like, in heighten the emotional impact of potentially Renoa dying? Because to me it feels like such a... Uh, it feels like it falls flat, if that was their intent. Now, maybe it's because I'm speedrunning, right? And as a speedrunner, this is just like, you know, this is tragedy. You know, you're, you're sitting here doing nothing as you speedrun. <laughs> but, you know, I wonder what the intent was. I think it, I think it's suspense, you know, to build the tension. And, uh, and wondering if she's going to die. But, you know, you have to know. And I wonder even as a kiddo if I knew there's no way she dies here, right? Maybe not, maybe not. I mean, JC, you're totally right. After Final Fantasy VII, anything could have happened, right? Aerith may or may not die. You know, spoiler alert. It's only been 28 years. I'm not sure we're in the clear yet for FF7 OG spoilers. Aerith might or might not die. I can't confirm or deny that. Well, where are you, Renoa? There you are. Way off in the nether sphere today. Hey, Aggie, how you doing? When you got to space, you'd been playing the game for weeks and had done a lot of stuff in the 8 world. So it wasn't that long in the big picture. Okay, so like for you... When you've got a hundred hours in the game, this is nothing. And you've probably enjoyed it, right? You probably kind of soaked it in, reveled in it, appreciated it, and enjoyed it. Kind of sounds like, yeah. Which I like, I like. I don't, I don't remember how I felt as a kid. That's why I'm kind of asking. I don't remember how I was, how I felt about it. Oh, I know, if you fail to catch Renoa, guys, this run dies. This run dies. No, I think we're good. Her booty is nicely lined up with my my, my face here. Booty to face strats. All right, now she's spinning. Uh-oh. Little up. Little up. A little more. What do you think? A little more? What do you think? A little lower? A little higher? Lower? Higher? Oh, no. Fuck! 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 Ah! Are we gonna do it? Are we not? Oh, my God. I think we're good. All right. I think we're good. We did it. <laughs> Run did not die. Imagine losing a run at the 6 hour and 45 minute mark to failing to catch Renoa. I bet someone's done it at some point. Have you guys ever seen an actual runner fail to catch Renoa live on stream? Who didn't, like, meme it, but actually failed? Have you ever seen that? I couldn't imagine it happening. Because it's so free to do it. Like, you, there's no way to fail that. You would have to, like, leave the room and not be here for it. To fail that. It has happened, really. That's so interesting.
I don't know, Moose. I mean, that's a great question. I, I think I think we're all we might be wondering the same thing. Yeah. Guess what is in this door? Yeah, propagators. Big, bad, deadly aliens that kill you in one hit. And if we're not junctioned right, they will kill us in one hit. And uh, this run will die. And so I think this far ahead of pace, maybe I save, huh? What do you guys... Nah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we save? Any input on it? What do you guys think? I, as soon as I said it, I thought better of it. I, I might not save, actually. Because I feel confident. Like, I feel confident that I'm good. But not 100%. I'm like 75%. You know, I'm not super confident. All I really know is my triples are on the right person, and that's usually a good sign. You know, the reason I don't want to save is I have to go back to the last room here. But I sure think it's worth it here. If I died, I'd be so depressed. I'd be very disappointed in a run death here. Hey, Jackie, how are you? All is well. I hope all is well in DJ Jackie land. Gotten any new Tifa apparel lately? You can regale me with. Alright, fine. I'm saving. I'll do it. I'll do it. How are we looking on health? Uh, fine. Okay. I, I bet, I bet. Oh, hope you're having a good Sunday, Jackie. Always a pleasure to have you in the house. Well, there comes a big moment. I mean, Squall killing these with the right junctions is uh, very important. So here we go. Purple, purple. You got to kill them in pairs, or they respawn. Then the green, then the red, then the yellow. I believe it, Jackie. I believe it. Okay, that was a kill. Costs around 10k to 15k. I mean, I believe it. And more power to you. I love it. I love it. Well, initiative was on. Strength was on. I think we're good, guys. I think we're good. Initiative means we'll get a first turn through this whole section. There goes the purple. Now we go for the green. in the elevator. Second one is back where we came from, where we killed the very first purple propagator. I do the trigger on all of these. I think you have to, or else it cannot kill, and then you can die. And so, got the uh, purple prop. Okay. Now back out. Second green propagator, and then the reds. Right back in the hallway we exited from. Boy, their teeth are so big. Look at their teeth. Look at them. 
What large teeth you have, propagators. Hey, gourmet. I'd say we have a, a decent run going. All the better to eat a boiger win. Yeah, yeah. Boy, that would be a heck of a boiger consumption vessel there. Yeah. So the other red is upstairs, so we're out of here. I don't know, I mean, you can convince me either way, Dan. <laughs> It's our final of our two red before the yellow, and then the yellow, and we've done a nice propagator section, and I'm confident we're looking good here. Nice trigger. I feel like the trigger is a really, really mushy, like, window. You know, thank God it's not like Sea of Stars, right? Sea of Stars, like, defend bonuses, you gotta be good at it. And if you miss it, if it was like Sea of Stars and you missed it, you'd probably die here on a lot of these fights. And so it's kind of nice that the uh, the trigger is not a really, like, you know, frame-perfect uh, kind of scenario. At least from what I can tell. Seems to be fairly forgiving. See ya. How's your Sunday going, brother? Very nice uh, propagator section. Good routing. Everything nice. Nice and smooth. And uh, about into hour seven now. Where we can sing Eyes on Me. Hey, let's go. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Let's go. Eyes on me. We're going to get to do it tonight. I don't sing it during the credits, I like to do it during the space scene when Renoa is in. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, enter the cockpit. Yeah. When uh, Renoa is in Squall's arms, you know, they're... They're embracing. And they're having their moment, right? You gotta give five subs to hear it, though. That's the deal. And so if you want to hear Eyes on Me, you can either, you know, do it together, or you can do it one at a time, or... A five-pack, you can hear Eyes on Me here. That is our standing offer in space. You guys had enough of it, I guess. I feel that. That's fair. That's fair. Well, cheers to Fei Wong enjoying Eyes on Me. Take it away, Fei. Here, I'll turn her up. I think 21 out of 25 subs deserves a little eyes on me. My last night here for you. Same old 
love songs just once more. My last night here with you. Maybe yes, maybe no. I kind of liked it your way. How you shyly placed your eyes on me. Did you ever know that I had my mind? Kiss me softly, but sure. If brown is shown, then I will know that you are no Comcast said hi, by the way, twice during that. Now I'm very nervous for the end of the run. Thank you, Comcast, for doing that to me. Well, let's hope for the best and expect the worst. Turn down the volume a little. Thank you, Fei Wong. You gotta make Fei the, the, the lead of the voice, right? You have to. Or else you're not doing it justice. When I first was singing Eyes on Me, I was not turning up FF8, and I was the louder one. 
Faye, Faye Wong has to be the lead, right? She's the femme fatale singing the song. You're not doing it right if you're overpowering Faye. And we're really close to figuring out how this all went, guys. Fujin Raijin is coming in here soon, and we finally figure out how that all went. Literally the last hour and a half. I have not split. Because in my PB, I forgot all these, and so I have nothing to compare to. Now, I've split tonight. And if I didn't, I'll go back and add them in. But uh, this is a very interesting section of the run for us where we just have no clue how that went. But in my opinion, that went really well. Lunatic, I mean, boarding the Lunatic Pandora, the s menu, not great, right? Not great. But that was a pretty damn perfect section. So I'm hoping for the best here. I hope so too, Thornado. Until literally a minute ago or two, I hadn't dropped a single frame all night. And so as soon as I saw them, I got very uh, nervous. Usually when they show up one time, that means they're going to be here for the whole rest of the night to hang out. So I got a little nervous there. But, uh, you know, hopefully things hang in there. Holding steady. Holding steady right now. Just gotta hope for the best. Only gotta last for another 50 minutes at this point. That's the deal, guys. We're under an hour. If we either we PB or we die here, that's, that's gonna be the game plan. Another run bites the dust and P-Town cries, or... We finally get that personal best. God, is it gonna feel so good if we do, too. It's gonna be one of those hallelujah kind of moments, I think. We should have had this PB, in my opinion, over two weeks ago. We were already ready for it. We've just been either abused by FF8 or I have fucked up in two weeks. And I've, no, I mean, Riel, I've had like five runs th past this point. They've all died, though. I've had three runs die in disc four, ten minutes ahead of pace. So it's not forever since I've been here. It's just been forever since we've finished. And it's gotten to the point where I legitimately have felt like I can't finish a run. You know, that's kind of where, where I've, I've ended up. And uh, finishing today would be really gratifying just for my mental state more than anything. Well, you're required to save Torrin at the castle entry and reset. That is actually a part of the speedrun. It's an RNG manip for your party selection for the end. So we always do that. So that's a guarantee. So absolutely, we will be saving before the end. <clears throat> you know, the reality is, though, we've been to the end like four or five times. And we've been a couple minutes from the end twice. You know, I've died on the final fights two times. And I've died to this four two other times, right? So we, we're, we're getting there, and we're getting there way ahead of pace. We just need to finish, and, uh, and here we go. I'm feeling confident tonight. I'm feeling confident. We got this. Is it irrational? Probably. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? You know. Uh, hold on. Sorceress Memorial. I passed it. I think. Yes, I did. Not ideal, but we'll make it work. We'll make it work.
go reclaim Renoa. Take her to a Deus house. Don't fucking forget our menu. This menu I forgot, and it killed the last run that got this deep. Didn't know it until the end of the run, though. So that's a menu we're not going to forget today. It's not the best world map, I hear ya, yeah. You know, for example, Final Fantasy VII had a much better world map, in my opinion. Final Fantasy IX probably has a better world map. Final Fantasy X doesn't even have a world map. I mean, you can fly, but there's no, like, you can't run on, a, on the world. But it is, it is interesting how 8, in my opinion, was a big step down from step 7 in terms of, like, navigating the map. You're, you're totally right. And we'll learn about FF12 coming up in, a, in about two weeks after Hundo for FF8. I'm getting excited for FF12. You know what I think I'm going to do in my spare time? Like, maybe even after the run tonight. I'm going to put a 12 run on. I'm going to put on the world record. And I'm going to watch it. What do you guys What do you guys think? Who is the world record holder right now? Of TZA any percent. Who am I watching? Who is that? I'm going to watch that run. The next time I have three hours. Is that Zero Scar? Or, uh, who, who is that going to be? Yeah, if you haven't heard, uh, we hit a sub-goal to learn FF12. We're going to do a two-day casual first. And then learn the speedrun. Uh, TZA, any percent, is, uh, I believe 2 hours 40 minutes is what Chad has told me, yeah. Is the, uh, world record. I believe, I believe. No, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm just going off of the information I've been provided here. Okay, a day is house. Why do I... Oh, I, I am. I'm always, like, looking at the map in kind of the wrong way is what it is, actually. Okay. I will deal with that. It's fine. Switch. Uh, this is Irvine, Squall, and Renoa. Junction exchange. Irvine for Squall. Squall for... Quistus. Ability. I don't have ammo refine. Oh, no. Do I? Because he couldn't learn it and I forgot to set it. Fuck! I think I'm dead here, guys. I think we're dead. I cannot... I cannot... Ma, ah, fuck. Ifrit was too underleveled, and I couldn't put him on ammo refine, and I forgot. Because my notes don't remind me to do so, and I've never had to in a prior run. So I couldn't refine a chef's knife in a running fire missile here. For AP ammo by 20 and demolition ammo. Uh-oh. That's a big uh-oh. That's a big uh-oh. <clears throat> I wonder how much ammo refine is. I think I'm, I might be okay here. I might be able to learn it. But I have to survive Mobile 8 first. And I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can. Is the thing. I'm very nervous now for Mobile 8. It looks like the Running Fire Missile is what mods my Demolition Ammo. By 100, yep. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I think I'm in big trouble here, and I think the run is about to die. 
All because Ifrit doesn't have ammo refine. Which I should have... Well, I'm trying to think of when I should have done that. I should have done that after I boarded the Lunatic Pandora. I should have done it after the Lunatic Pandora. And, uh... I didn't. I know, I know, this is gonna hurt, I know. I, I, I might have AP, but the Chef's Knife refines 20 AP ammo. I mean, that's, so this, this menu is supposed to provide me 20 AP ammo for refining the chef's knife for ammo refine. And then the running fire missile for demolition ammo by 100. I don't have either of those. I might have AP ammo, if it dropped, maybe. And maybe we can try to take on mobile with AP. But I'm, I'm well aware here, I've got a problem. I've got a problem, and it's this ammo refine that didn't occur. And uh, normally, Ifrit has always had it. This is the first run I've had where Ifrit was not able to equip it in ability, and so I had to wait, and then I didn't remember because I've never had to do that. So that got me in trouble. You know, another thing here, <laughs> another way we found to maybe kill the run. What I will do is if there's a save point anywhere before Mobile 8, God damn it, we're saving. And we'll see if we can find a way to get through it, right? That's all we gotta do. If I can survive that fight, I think I'll learn ammo refine, and I'll be okay. Um, switch party. This is Irvine, Squall, and Zell. Okay. Hey, how you doing, E? I, I'm not gonna YOLO to Cactar Island. I don't even know what that is, so I'm not gonna do that. I appreciate you, though. If the run dies, the run dies. It's not a big deal. We've had lots of runs die. It's fine. And if it dies tonight from forgetting to put on ammo refine, it is what it is. It's all good. There's another run that bit the dust. Good to see you, though, EJ. E Hope you're doing well. Oh, this way. No, I'm well aware he has to be a level before he learns it. And uh, this is the only run I've ever done where he was not able to learn ammo refine. He didn't have, he wasn't at the level yet. Only run ever. So I, I had to, like, YOLO, and I didn't know what to do. That's how I got in trouble. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter now, Jaybird. He, he has it now. He's learning it. Like, what do you mean? It's irrelevant now. It's just now we need to learn it, or we need to find a way to get through the run without it. Which I don't think we can do. Like, we have ammo refined. I just didn't put it on it because I put I had to put it on later than normal. Now you're making me really nervous. Like it's on ammo refine, right? Yeah. yeah there we go. Hey, Pan Glacial, how you doing, my friend? Very right, good to see ya. Hope you're having an exceptionally good Sunday. Uh, thank you for that incredibly lovely Jesse Blender render that you posted to Discord in the NSFW channel. That was a that was a sight for sore eyes. I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I did enjoy it. Well, first option for Laguna, second for Dr. Rodine, first for Laguna. And then we take on Fujin and Rajin. Fire ammo by three. I have that. I have that at least. You know, one thing I'm aware of in FF8 is you don't always die to not having what the notes say. 
You can you can use a backup and like just use other ammo. But I just don't know what ammo is optimal. Or if in this situation it's applicable. But you know, a lot of times when it says like, well, you need to use demolition ammo. That just means it's like three seconds faster than another ammo, right? It's not like the run dies if you don't have it. That's the interesting thing that I don't really know anything about. So not having AP and demo here for a little bit until we learn it might be fine just for small time loss. You know, you know what I mean? That's the way that's what I'm trying to kind of decide. And I'm just not gonna be able to know. I lack the knowledge to know. But I bet a better runner would be like, okay, well, without demolition, I can do this instead, and I'll be fine. You know what I mean? That's what I'm, that's what I'm kind of thinking. And so this will be a good learning situation where we just kind of have to see how it goes and hope for the best, and I hope there's a save before Mobile 8. I'm going to use it, and we'll just redo the fight if we die and try to find a way through it. Time to end the run, guys. We're literally on disc four. Next. We're gonna get through Fujin, Raijin. Well, never mind. Uh, there is a save point. There is a save point before Mobile Type 8. And we have a Fujin, Raijin fight. I have no clue what the AP they give you is. I mean, maybe we learn ammo refined from that fight. I think that's ridiculous, but I doubt it. I doubt it, but maybe we could. And um, if we do, the run is totally okay. So we're going to save before Mobile 8, and um, we'll find a way through here. You know, we got 15 minutes, I think, in the green. There's no reason to, like, not save and be safe. And I know where the save point is. I just thought of it in my head. Okay, it's in the big wedge screen. Yep, bigs and wedge. Southeast, I believe. Lunatic Pandora. Where are you, Pandora? There you are. Why, why, why? If it ain't, if it ain't Mr. Silent, how are you doing, my friend? Thanks for the raid, guys. Welcome on in. How did your FF9 run go? Appreciate you bringing the party around here, Silent. I hope my favorite furry cop is having a lovely Sunday night, and the rest of you guys too. Da -da 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 -da. Finished your first D rest, was happy to do it. Well Silent, you and I you and I need a race coming up. You know what? That's what we need. We need a Silent P Town rumble in the jungle. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. It'll be the motivation to get P Town back into it. Land, re enter, and enter the Lunatic Pandora. Well, this is Fujin and Raijin right here. Fire ammo by three from Irvine. I'm prepared to die any fight here. You know, like, I'm very. I don't know if this run's gonna survive at any point, really. Okay, Irvine uses fire ammo by three. He has initiative, he should get it off right away. One, two, three. I mean, for example, what if I used fire ammo on Mobile 8, right? I, I have no idea. Like, I, I gotta decide something. And in fact, uh, it would be good to know how much AP ammo I have. Um, in an attempt to finish, yeah, we saved time there, chat. That was a two-minute time save. Let's go. Nice. Let's go. Let's go.
There's Biggs and Wedge in the save point. The mobile aid is the very next screen, by the way. Okay, uh... Who's in my party right now? Irvine... There we go, it's so big. Um, well, yeah, so, uh, G, uh, he hasn't learned it yet, has he? Yeah, he's 20 out of 30 away, Pine, so I'm 10 AP short. I, I, if it was too low level to learn, um, and to start learning ammo at the right time. And I had no idea, I just had to, I had to do it later and I forgot, I forgot. I thought Mobile 8 was right there. No, they're in number one, okay. Yeah, Jaybird, I think I might go for fire, but boy, this is like a runner who has no clue what to do. Uh, this is gonna be a real YOLO. Real YOLO here. I wish the save point was closer, too. I really wish it was closer. I mean, we're supposed to be doing 10,000 every shot. Oh! Nice. Okay. Well, that's better. I'm, I'm more confident now. Not as, not nearly as big of a time loss. Okay. So here we go. I'm gonna try fire. I think, I think I'm gonna try fire. <clears throat> okay. We can also use dark sight with squall. One, two, three, four. Give me a fifth. Okay. Oh, I think we won. I think we won. That's what I mean. You can YOLO in this run when if, if you know if you know what to do. I didn't know, but it worked. Okay, good. Who? That was the fight. Now we we've already learned it. Now we can now we can do the menu. We're good here. We just learned ammo refined. Nice. Okay. And so, we can now ammo refine the chef's knife and the mistle. And we have the ammo now. Oh, that was so good. That was so good. Okay. Whew. Good job, guys. Good job. We handled that really nicely. And so now we have the AP ammo by two for Cypher. So there you go, that's why you use demo instead of fire, because it's faster. But fire, like I was su like supposing, just loses you a number of seconds, right? And thanks a lot for your guys' uh, knowledge. You guys, you guys gave me the confidence to go for fire there. And so I appreciate that. I was prepared that I could have dark sided for a squall at the end for more damage too. But um, here we go. This is a Cypher third fight, Irvine AP ammo by two. I can't imagine there's any way you can die here. Good to know that if you forget the AP ammo, you're you're not dead. You know, you're not dead. You're just losing like 10 seconds. One, two. There you go, Cipher three. Nice fight.
excited to see Gilgamesh too. In uh, 100%. That'll be a lot of fun. That'll be a lot of fun. I don't think we have a menu here. That was just, um, yeah, okay. I need to remember that's there. Should actually put that in my notes. Uh, cancel out of the menu. the end of the disc. Adele's coming up. <clears throat> Just want to make sure we're, we're good. I mean, there's no reason why these guys shouldn't be full health, right? Ah, there's no reason to care. Why do I care? Stop it, buddy. Stop losing time. Let's go. I'm just a little nervous here. I, I really want this run to finish. Adele. 8p ammo. I'm gonna go demo ammo by three. Uh. Okay. One. Two. Three. I uh, might as well go all in. Nice. Hey, Sonic, how you doing? Sorceress fight is next, chat. That's the next fight up. We've died there twice. Our last two runs died to Sorceress. We make it through there. It's uh, it's kind of all hands on deck to the end. We're in desk, disc four already. This is the finale. Yeah, he has speed today. He does. He actually, I turned on, I activated the speed junction from Pandemona. Uh, specifically for the Sorceress fight. And that is the first time I've done that today, because the last run died, because the notes I was using didn't include that. And the route I'm using has to do it, yeah. So yes, we are good to go. a piece of turkey for you. And some beer. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. A little 
Miller Light to chase it down. Okay. Last run died to forgetting the save point. Auto attack. Item. <clears throat> Mega elixir. Config. Max speed. Uh, save. Just a, just a save. Probably a good idea. Here we go. Oh boy. It's always nerve-wracking when you died here last run. And I felt like I didn't do anything wrong but not do speed junction on Pandemona. So here we go for the run back. By an attack, Hasten Berserk. Question is, do Zell and Squall have the correct um, things on? Like, can they haste, can they berserk? I don't actually know. We had some issues around hour six, hour five to six in the S-Star menu. this fight is identifying when I need to kill Irvine with Dark Side on Squall. Squall has Dark Side, right? He does. Okay. So we're gonna kill Irvine with Dark Side when the big sorcerer spawns. And then Phoenix down. And then AP ammo by four on the big sorcerers. That's the deal here. Last time I did it I died. Didn't have a speed junction from Pandemona. One thing I need to understand is when I know it's the dark, it's the it's the big sorcerers, right? That's what I need to understand. Uh, yes, Omega, that is hundred. Whoa, they got a turn. Okay, we're all right. We got a turn, though. Yeah, I know, I know. I know what she looks like, but I wish I could identify it earlier. Earlier, fine. Like, I want to know, like, I want to know, I want to know killing the one before it, right? That's where I need to get to. And boy, they're getting a bunch of turns here that I don't love. Maybe that's fine, but I'm not used to this. Why are we seeing Meteor here? Whoa, why are we seeing me? Oh, dog! Okay, well, fuck. Uh, there, we got problems, guys. We got major problems here now. This went wrong. This went all wrong. This is run over. Uh, this is definitely run over here. Man, I can't explain why. I can't explain why. I don't know. I don't know, man. I have no clue. That's the thing. I have no clue. I don't know why it went wrong here. I think we're on the final fight now. And I don't have full ATB and we're dead. We are literally dead here and that's a run over. Yeah. I think it's RNG too. We just got super unlucky, chat. Is the deal here. Uh, Phoenix down. 
And we're dead, right? I think we died right here. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was. Uh, I thought I was on not that, and so we die. Sorry, guys. Another run. Another run over. Just the luck of the draw for us. Man, I don't understand what happened there, though. Like, I didn't do anything that I thought was wrong. I think that was just I got bad RNG and I died. Is what I think occurred. I know I say, but that's just really unfortunate. You know, I'm not happy about that in any way. Not happy about that in any way. Well, let's see here if that happens again. You know, I, I don't know. You know, it, it could be it, it could be that there's something wrong. You know, I, I just don't know. I just don't know. So, it's just a tough situation here. We'll, we'll try it again. We'll try it again. But, uh... Wow, I had a first turn. Like, we have initiative. How did I get a first turn on? Very strange. Probably should haste before I berserk. Here we go, we're set up, you know, nothing I can do here. It's not a fight where you do anything. You're just staring at the game, and you're hoping you don't die. Until the final sorceress, that's it. That's literally it. So, for that last fight, it's not like I did anything wrong. Uh, we just, we just didn't get the RNG, I think, that we required there. that by the authorities app. We'll, we'll learn, we'll learn. So Dark Side, Phoenix Down, AP Ammo. We just need Squall and Zell alive going into the end. The problem there is my party died so I couldn't kill Irvine. Because we got Meteor. So we need to not get Meteor is what needs to occur here. I think this person Meteor it is. And if I'm not mistaken, Or no, might have been the next one, Meteor Dis. Yeah, it was this one here. This is the Meteor that occurred right here. Is this the final boss? Oh no, never mind. Well, I. Ah. Uh, there we go. I mean, it's going way better, right? I don't think they've even had a chance at an attack here. I'm gonna be hard pressed to see her get an attack. Irvine's ATB is pretty good. Yeah, it's going much better. I think we're done now. Final one, right? Yeah. Dark side Irvine and Phoenix down Irvine, right? And then it's just AP ammo here. And that's the win. Four times AP ammo here. Wait a minute. That was Dark Side? That wasn't Dark Side? Fuck you. That didn't kill. Why did that not kill? Oh no, I was supposed to kill. Well, that killed. Got it, got it, and we're good, and we're good. Four time HP ammo. One, two, three. No, I can't get four off. Is that enough? It says to do four. It was enough, yeah. Nice. All right, got it through, got it through. Ooh. Jeez, though, what a stressful fight. 
No kidding, man. No kidding. Whew. Ten minutes still in the green, guys. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oof. Okay. Uh, outside to the beach. Yep. I'm, I'm going, I'm going here. <laughs> I'm trying, at least. Very anxious at this point. Alrighty. Save and hard reset before Ultimecia's castle. Save and hard reset, by the way. So this is intended. Okay. Let's assume that's all good. Switch. Party is Irvine, Squall. That was Junction Exchange. What? How do I exchange my members? What? Oh, you go forward, right? And then it prompts you, yeah. Okay. Did I fuck up my Junctions chat? I didn't just fuck up my Junctions, did I? Did- I hope I didn't there. I think I put it back, right? I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> And Irvine, Squall, and Quistus. There we go. Okay. I mean, I have no idea. Yeah, I, I don't know. I might have. I want to make sure Irvine has max triples. Okay. And then Tiamat time. I think Irvine might not have max triples today. So we'll see here. He does, okay. Ooh, uh, I don't have my... Ooh, he's low on health. Okay. Alright, try point first. Attack with Irvine and only Irvine. I don't like his health here, though. Here goes try point. Don't flee, either. Kill Quistus with Squall. Alright. Oh, Quistus, you didn't die, though. Well, we can kill her. We can kill her in the next fight. We can kill her in the next fight. Okay. Well, there's Tripoint, guys. Wow. That saved uh, two minutes. Almost. An unlock limit break. Uh, we want her dead for the ending. I don't actually know the reason, to be honest. Don't know. Uh, limit break. Okay. I, I triggered him, too. It's the funny thing.
are nervous about Tiamat. I've died to this fight not getting off AP ammo by four. I've only gotten three off a lot of times, and I don't know why that is. Or what the backup is, either. Maybe Dark Side. Maybe Dark Side or something. Yeah, PC version. Hey, Fash, how you doing? Well, if we survive this fight, my uh, confidence goes up exponentially. I'm not confident about this fight. I gotta kill Quistus, and I have to do a 4 AP ammo, which is a crapshoot for me. I've gotten 3 in a couple fights, I don't know why. Okay, here we go. So Squall attacks Quistus first. Come on, AP, give me four. One, two. Oh, easy four. Why is it so better this time? <laughs> okay, that had way more time than I was used to, actually. I don't know why. Um, that has been almost impossible to get off for me in the past. I don't know why. Maybe the critical threshold. I wonder if it's Irvine. Is it a better crit threshold for the limit? That allowed double the time. Yeah, that allowed double the time. I think that's the deal. It could be sped up too. Could be the speed junction from, um, maybe, I don't know. You know, I don't know. And so item, okay. And back across the bell, okay. Having a dead teammate increases the danger value for the limits too, huh? So Quistus being dead helps. Interesting. Okay. Here's the Manip. One, two, three, four. That's the party Manip, uh, essentially. There. To have Irvine, Renoa, and Selfie. Okay, we got a many to do here. Potions on Irvine if necessary. Yep, he needs one. Uh, Renoa and Selfie. K. Okay, uh, Rocket Engine. On Pandemona. Okay, off that. Uh, speed on Config. I'm gonna leave it on Rock Bottom, actually. And that's it. That's the that's it there. After descending ladder, hold up. Okay. We're in it, guys. Final three fights. Final four fights right here. This is the run. This is the run. Demo ammo on Ultimecia by three. I died to Griever last run, and Zaiden told me it was just shit luck, and I just was going to die. So, you know, hopefully today, guys, we don't have shit luck and we don't die, all right? That's my hope. There's no, you can't save at that save point. If you do, it changes your party selection. So we're in it to win it now, and uh, either we die or we PB, good luck. So, Aura, Stone, and Hero on Irvine during the Griever fight. All right. In that order, too. Demo ammo by three, right here. Wow, that was bad. Holy shit. 
All right. Oh. Why was that? Why are they gonna turn off? I don't know. I'm nervous about that. Oh. That didn't feel good there. That didn't feel good. Okay, Aura Stone. On Irvine. And then a Hero on Irvine. Demolition Ammo by 6. After a hero on selfie, if we can. Am I dead? Okay, no. Okay, where's my hero? I used AP, I didn't mean to. Oh no, I might run out here. I mean, is that enough to kill? I don't know. Guys, I think I'm gonna run out of AP ammo. I fucked up here, I fucked up. I fucked up. That should have been demo. And it wasn't. I think I'm gonna die to the final form. Potentially here. Uh oh. Okay, it's demo ammo by four. We just lost someone, too. Oh no. Oh no. It's lost for Noah. Oh, Comcast, how you doing? Perfect timing. I don't know. I don't know. Demo ammo by six. I'm gonna try to buffer with selfie here. Come on, baby. What? He got a turn? It's alright. Should be fine here, right? We're invincible. Selfie and Irvine. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. I need eight. Seven. Am I getting it? Eight. All right. Got it. Oh, final fight. Irvine uses AP ammo by eight. Uh, I don't have the AP ammo, guys. I only have six. Should I use demo instead? Should I use demo instead? That's the question. Or should I? Should I just go with AP and anyways? I don't know. I don't know. That's the real important question here. I think I'm going demo. I think I am. I think I'm going demo. That worked out real well there. Demo, demo, demo. Alright, alright. We'll go demo. I mean, I got eight in on Griever. Then I think we'll go eight on Ultimecia. And then, the notes don't say this, I haven't finished a run in so long. I think we have to get five attacks in, right? Um, <laughs> after she begins to talk. This has been a while in coming. I, I haven't finished a run in so long, I'm like a little on shaky ground here. But I believe we need five attacks after that point. From anyone. Literally anyone.
two, three, four, five, <clears throat> six. Mm, I don't know. Am I getting that last one in? Yeah. Okay. Huh. <sighs> Attack physically, number one. Getting Zell in here, I think. We need five. Welcome in, Zell. Two. I mean, I'm so new at eight, I don't know if I'm safe or not. You guys sound like you think we're safe. You think we've done it. Gotta love how Comcast is coming in when they know I'm PBing, right? You gotta love it. You gotta love it. One more. One more. And five. Run over. The end. Nice. Wow. Holy crap. What a long time coming. I was nervous until the very end of that fight. I, I had to see it end. I had to see it over the line. I had to see the run finish to believe it. Oh, baby. Baby, baby, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So long overdue, man. So long overdue. This has been over two weeks in coming. Over two weeks in coming. <laughs> and despite that sorceress death that lost us five minutes of time, we still pulled back three more minutes on top of it, right? We nearly brought it back to sub eight, despite even with the sorceress death. I think that's a really nice takeaway from it, right? That's awesome, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Pine. I appreciate you, brother. Thanks for the five gift subbies. You rock. Thanks for the raid, Co. Con Mura. Welcome on in. Sub goal reached, baby. Hell yeah. And finally, third PB achieved. Long overdue, but, well, feels great. Feels real great. And the Comcast didn't murder the stream today. At least they tried to, but they didn't. Good job, us. Good job, us. I almost ran Sea of Stars today and started 100% tomorrow. And I'm so glad I talked myself in to doing one more run tonight. Because it was the run that got it done. I don't care if it's sub-8, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, right? Big improvement. We can lock it in. We'll get that sub-8 later on. Who cares? Fantastic run. And I'm going to walk away tonight with a big smile from ear to ear on my face. This is, this is great. This is great. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, Pine. I appreciate you. Thanks for the bit. Thanks for the five subbies. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the grind. You know, we're, we're going to be done with 90%, but the nice thing is, where we find ourselves is we know the run so well, we can run a PB anytime. And so anytime we're like, hey, let's pop off an 8 run and try to get that sub 8, we're prepared to do that, and I don't need to practice, right? It's a nice kind of place to leave off at, right? Get into Sea of Stars tomorrow, 100% the next day come back to any percent later on. Get that sub-8 someday, you know, someday down the line, you know. And uh, lock that in. 
You know what I would like? What I would like to get some information on is, did I mess up the sorceress fight, or did I just get unlucky? You know, I don't know. You guys seem to think it was just an unlucky fight, but I don't know for sure. And that was a five-minute time loss, right? But it's a it's a risky fight. I I know it it can just kill you. I think. But I thought that the speed junction from Pandemona was supposed to fix that. So, you know, I'm not really sure if, if there's something I could have done that might have made that better, or, or maybe not, you know? Well, I'm gonna ask Zaiden about that tomorrow. And see if he has any insight. But Lady V, you think it was just that unlucky RNG? Yeah. You know, that's what I'm wondering, J-Bub, is I did Berserk, then I did Haste, right? And then the next time I was like, wait a minute, I'm a speedrunner. I know this because in Final Fantasy VII, on Ruby Weapon, you have to do, like, your Haste first. Or you get in trouble. And so I was like, hold on, wait a minute. We're gonna go Haste now, then we're gonna go Berserk. You know, that's where your, your prior knowledge in other speedruns can come in to help you there. That's not eight, that's not eight knowledge, that was seven knowledge that made me think about changing my strat to try to adjust, right? So that was really cool, you know, how, how that worked out and, and we got through it the second time. Really, some VODs you were just seeing people use haste? Interesting. I'll be, I'll be very intrigued to talk to Zaiden about that tomorrow and see what maybe I could have done better if it just was shit, you know. Boy, I'm happy, though. I am so happy with this finish. Chat, I think we should find a lovely raid target tonight. You guys suggest people. Let's find a new person to raid tonight. I have no one on my list that looks attractive. Oh, heretic, that's just part of the program around here. That's literally, uh, if I don't do that, Shaq is mad at me. You guys have any nice, comfy raid destinations you might suggest tonight? Drugal is doing some first time no sphere grid FF10. I could always raid uh, Cutebot doing R-rated speed dating with unhinged viewers. You know, that's always a target. You know, Cutebot and all. Eyes on B is doing Shadow Hearts. That would be fun. You have a friend playing Chrono Trigger for the first time. Who are they? Let me see. I'll check them out. Super Sleep T. They're a, they're a, they're a uh, partner, huh? They say they're taking a break. My taking a break screen. Okay. Well, they've been on a break for a while here. No one's chatted for 12 minutes, so I don't think I'm reading them. Although, now someone just said, welcome back, as I'm chilling here. Dan's survival? You can have a dash in your name? Oh, an underscore. I was going to say, I don't think that's a thing. Oh yeah, there they are. Tw Chrono Trigger, 24 viewers. Oh, nice. First playthrough, channel point redeem. Oh, this is great. Guys, we're going to rate a Chrono Trigger casual playthrough. Nice. <laughs> That's exactly what it says it'll be. <laughs> they sound very chill. Uh, Omega, I'm the world record holder of FF7 Hundo. That's a 16 hour run, sir. Eight hours is nothing to me. This is a walk in the park. 
Well, Comcast is saying hi again, guys, so I'm gonna initiate the raid. We are going to raid Dan's survival tonight. And I hope you guys enjoy some casual Chrono Trigger. Dan's survival. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Thanks for the great run tonight. I had a great time. Hope you guys did, too. I'll see you tomorrow for Sea of Stars. And then FF7 100% learning after that. I am P-Town. You guys fucking rock. You can always watch the final FMV on YouTube. Take care. I'm out of here. Peace out.